Good morning. How are you all this morning? We are live and kicking. I tell you what, we're very, very... I shouldn't jinx myself, should I? Because I think the last time I did this, everything started going really wrong because I said that we were very awake and we were nice and calm. But no, I think Kat and I have both had a good sort of eight, nine hours sleep. Hannah was singing and, uh, and dancing. And poor Jules, I know she's been up since half three this morning. Um, well, she left. No, your alarm went off at half three this morning. So she's been wide awake for the last few hours as well. So you've got a brilliant show lined up. We've got loads and loads and loads to bring you. Um, I will tell you about it in just a second, because there's a lot to tell you. First of all though, shall we start the show, as we always do, with the early bird. Those of you that have woken up nice and early with us, you're getting a nice little treat to start the day. Saving a four pounds, really, really cute little pin cushion. It's, <laughs> spoiler alert, it's not a real iron, spoiler alert. <laughs> Thanks for that, Hannah. £8.99, it is your early bird special. It is a novelty iron pincushion. I absolutely love it. I think it's it's just really nice to have. Literally, buy a sewing machine, ready to go buy your iron, maybe. If you're doing any um, pinning, we always need a nice pincushion to go in. That's a lovely one, isn't it? That'll make a really nice gift for somebody. Just £8.99. And it comes in a nice little box as well. It comes in a box, so if you are wrapping it up, then it, it's easy to do so. But it's just beautiful. Look at all of your haberdashery, all your little notions. Really pretty. Normally, this would cost you £4 more. So today, as a little super saver, it is just £8.99. So all of its cushions, it's nice to have different pin cushions, I think. So maybe you could have uh, your applique uh, pins around the bottom or your longer pins, your quilting pins, you know, you can separate them over your pin cushion or have different pin cushions for different types of pins. But uh, it, it is a, a really nice, uh, you know, yes, you see pin cushions that are uh, dedicated to sewing, but I don't think I've seen a little iron one before. It's the first time I've seen that. It's really cute. And of course, we talk about this all the time, how important pressing is. So to be able to have a nice little pin cushion to match in with all of your bits and bobs in your sewing room. Just £8.99 and it's a great chance to open your order because today is going to be the day to get involved. Obviously, we've got so much coming up. So if you do want to open your order nice and early, you'll only pay one post and packaging throughout the day, even if you're checking out multiple times. We've got lots of fabrics, new fabrics, coming up in fact I just want to give you a bit of a, a sneak peek of some of the fabrics that are coming up at nine o'clock these are all brand new right guess the designer we had a bit of a look through uh, over the last few days when they came into the the building and I think everybody just almost presumed that they were Moda they look so much like Moda no they're not cat they're not they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? And the price on these is ridiculous. It's absolutely phenomenal. And they are beautiful quality fabrics. I think that was part of the reason why we uh, presumed that they were Moda is because the quality is gorgeous. Um, price is amazing. You've got beautiful colours. The whole collection is amazing. And there's a really interesting story to it. So we're going to talk more about that at nine o'clock. If you do want any beautiful fabrics, we've got a whole hour of la uh, launching range. So stay tuned. Right. So... Before um, I introduce the kits that we're working with with uh, Jules, let me show you a couple of fabrics. Now, I always will mention this, but I still feel that, you know, sometimes we all need reminding. If you've bought the early bird, if you've opened your order already this morning, if you've been eagle-eyed on the website and found something that you like, that you want or you need, then I always think, have a look at the 100% cotton page on our website. Type in 100% cotton, you'll see all of the solids that we have. Because they're so useful, aren't they? Hannah and I were having a really big conversation yesterday about you know, stocking up your stash and what you need in your stash. I think after yesterday's early bird, having the elephant, the grey, and I know John Con Morgan was saying we couldn't, he couldn't get any grey at the moment. We had a few other colours by the half metre through the show yesterday and they were so popular. So I just thought I would let you know and remind you that we've got all of these different solid colours on the website. I know how popular they always are. They're beautiful quality cotton. And it's just £3.49 for half a metre. Half a metre looks like this. It's 112 wide. It's gorgeous quality. And it's going to go beautifully with the collection that we're launching at 9 o'clock. It's going to go really nicely with, in fact, any of your fabrics. I do like 
I must say, don't get me wrong, white has a time and a place, but sometimes can look very stark. Um, so mixing creams in with your Tildes or your Liberties or your Moders or the new collection that we've got, it's going to look beautiful. Just having some ready to go, whether it be for backgrounds or borders or sashing or having it for it, bag linings or cushion backs or even cushion fronts and bag fronts. I know I'm talking about inside, but it's... It is beautiful quality fabric. If you want to do some applique on top of it maybe, or using some of your variegated threads, or uh, any of your new beautiful orophils, or fancy Gutemans that we've had, the nice bright colors, lovely to do some uh, you know, fancy stitching on top of it. So just £3.49, just a reminder, cream, not on Hurley Bird today, but always a brilliant price, and a great chance if you've bought anything, just to remind you that you can stock up on any of the solid fabrics. We've also got black. Now, I know that Jules has already been eyeing up this. She says she's doing a, a quilt for a friend's, uh, a friend of a friend who wants a Fulham quilt. What colour are Fulham? Red and, red and black? Red and black, so she's saying, right, I need some black. But, oh, do you know what? I love, 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 love seeing that real dark, dramatic background when you pop in it with some rainbow colors maybe like the Alison glass panel you know some of those beautiful barley pop uh, batik fabrics they look amazing on black and don't get me wrong it's quite dramatic we were talking about it with uh with Sally Ann last week the fractures quilt would look awesome with black and we that was the last time that we suggested it even if you're doing contemporary quilting or let me show you the um the fabric that we've got coming up later Oh, we've got some really beautiful big florals with black backgrounds. We've got this one and we've got this, oh, sorry. These ones would look amazing. So it's not just contemporary colours that are using these, you know, bold black uh, backgrounds. It works really, really well as well with your classics. So just £3.49, half a metre looks like this. It is ideal to just have in your stash, isn't it? Just to have in your stash. I like a nice dark lining, to be honest, in my bags because I tend to, um, I tend to, yeah, pen or makeup, coffee, whatever goes in my bag tends to get spilt. So it's nice to have, you know, a darker lining. Just three pounds forty nine. Fantastic price if you just want to stock up. So. Thought I would remind you about those. Don't forget, we've got loads of solid colours on the web shop though. We've got some beautiful new ones as well that came in over Christmas, over the, um, the Christmas weekend. So if you type in 100% cotton on the website, it's www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to Jewelry Maker, don't worry. Um, but we are just using their page at the moment. I'll show you the website. So, one second. So don't forget, 100% cotton if you want any of the um, if you want any of the solid fabrics. I'm going to tell you a code. This is something completely different, but I'm going to tell you a code. It's linked. It's where our thoughts came from. The code I want you to type in, Cat, is L U X C sixty nine sixty nine. Okay, L U X C sixty nine. Press enter. Okay, this sold out yesterday, very early on the show. I can't bring it to air. I'm not allowed to bring it to air. You know me, I love a loophole with an early bird. I'm always telling you about it. We did ask Hayley, because I know we got in trouble yesterday with the, uh, the, the Roland Press, but <laughs> um, we found out, me and Hannah, we still like to tread quite dangerously to get you your early bird specials. I'm not allowed to show it. Didn't show it on air. I just took you to the website, gave you a code. And what is that code? L-U-X-C-69. L-U-X-C-69. A few of you might be able to get that early bed. There's only 30. I mean, we had hundreds of bundles yesterday. They're already pre-cut into two and a half meter cuts and you're saving £3.49. So if you do love that elephant grey, it sold out in a heartbeat yesterday. We did ask Kaylee if we could have uh, a few more. She's given us 30 bundles more. So definitely check out on that. I hope you like it and definitely make the most of everything on the web shop. Remember that one PMP crosses over from web shop and also uh, on air sales. So whatever you are, uh, whatever you're after, definitely check out the web shop after. If you already paid it, you might as well get, you know, a bit of fabric for your stash, any of your solids, or even if you're just wanting some, some smaller bits. Right. So 
Let me introduce the three bundles that we've got. It comes from the Half Yard book from Debbie Shaw. Our jewels has worked um, a lot from Debbie Shaw's books and Debbie Shaw patterns. And uh, they're brilliant. If you, like me, like a bit of everything, a bit of sewing, this, a bit of sewing, that, uh, you'll really like this book because we've got projects for everybody in here. There's so many quick and easy products, all designed. Uh, to be made with smaller pieces of fabric. So we've put together bundles of, uh, of a metre of fabric, two half metres, just to get you started. But it's a great chance with this book to use up any of your favourite fabrics that you might have already at home as well. So there's beautiful, practical home accessories in here for your living room, dining room, kitchen, bath, bedroom. Should we have a look through? And also, I know lots of us going on picnics at the moment. I think we're due to have some lovely, lovely weather this weekend. There's some nice picnic projects in here as well. So it starts off before you st before you start. Debbie gives you a great introduction of, of different useful techniques and, uh, and tools that you might need. Before you get started, different stitches, different waddings and interfacings and battings. And it goes through room by room how to do all of these beautiful little projects. Look, little cute baskets, magazine boxes. We're all thinking about different ways of um, upcycling or different ways of, of being a bit more sustainable and thinking about sustainability. I love these ideas. What about a, a, va a, a vase sleeve? They're so nice. Knitting bag. Who's been keeping their eyes on their emails? Hint, hint, hint. That's exciting, isn't it? Knitting bag. Your dining room. Coasters, placemats, hanging hearts, napkins. Napkin rings. I spent so long the other day going through all of my emails. You know when you get uh, on your phone like a little uh, number next to the app and it will tell you that you've got like, thousands of things unopened. <gasps> oh gosh, I've got through it though. Fabric bowl. Oh, look at these. Battenbergs. Chair slips. That's clever, isn't it? That's really pretty. To dress up your dining chairs. You could do Christmas ones of those, couldn't you? You got any of the Christmas fabrics? It's only £9.99. I wonder if this is Debbie's son. I don't know who it is. <laughs> Your oven mitt. Your bag dispenser. Oh, well, they're really handy, aren't they? They're really, really handy indeed. Otherwise, you just get a bit um, overwhelmed by lots of different, uh, you know, shopping bags. Tablet holder. Bedroom. Right, so this is what we're making. This is what we're making. Your cafe curtain, lavender heart. This is what we're making, our pumpkin pillow. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really lovely. I've got to be really nice and easy to make if you've never uh, if you've never bought from us before. If it is your first project, maybe, or you're getting somebody else into sewing, this is a really lovely book to get started with because Debbie doesn't use, you know, jargon that when I first started sewing I felt like I was learning a new language but actually Debbie breaks it down for everybody who's who potentially has never even sewn before I love all these look your picnic placemat how cute's that your bread bag jam jar little covers picnic pillow these would be lovely little gifts wouldn't they oh I like that bottle bag and you can keep your cork in there as well we had a few people requesting over Christmas weekend, can we do a bottle bag cover? There you go. Absolutely perfect. Full instructions there. If you've got your Christmas fabric as well, that's ideal. So today, just £9.99, your half yard home for under £10. Brilliant value for money. Now this is what we're making. Look at them, they're so gorgeous, especially in Liberty. Especially in Liberty. Well, I say that, I know that... Um, Jules loves the, the real lovely classic. You've also got the Moders. We've also got the uh, Canning Days range as well. Lots of Moder. All designer cushions. Let's start with Liberty. Okay, so the great thing is, obviously, I'm just showing you one. With this fabric bundle, you are going to have so much fabric to play around with. You're going to have loads left over. So you can definitely make 
two of this size um, and two of the smaller size with this bundle and you may still have some left over we're going to talk to Jules as well about different ideas of what to use your fabric for but I tell you what we're never complaining are we when we got extra fabric to you know just to play around with especially when it's Liberty or Moda <laughs> you've got half the meter all from the beautiful is this the, the summer flower show range it's so bright and vibrant, isn't it? It's the newest range from Liberty. It's still that classic, iconic print, and you still recognise it straight away, but to have those beautiful, bold colours is gorgeous. £17.99, a metre of fabric, and we're throwing in some uh, buttons as well for the centre of uh, your cushion. So you get a couple of buttons there as well. Now, we've also got two of your mode ranges. I like the fact that we've got three very, very different bundles. This one was Jules's fave gorgeous colours, your classic reds and creams and it's moda, you can't go wrong, £17.99 you get two of your half metre pre-cuts plus then you're getting your uh, buttons as well for £17.99, we'll go through everything with jewels. we're going to bring it on in a second and then the last option is your moda canning days, half a metre of each, this is really pretty isn't it, I think actually this would go really nice with lots of the presents in, in Debbie's book, for maybe like we say the, the bottle bag would even look really pretty wouldn't it, if you're off to a picnic or something there's lovely picnic projects in there and for your home those, um, yeah, have a look through the, the the book because it's all designed to use, you know, smaller pre-cuts, whereas you've got half a metre of each of these here. So a great deal of fabric to be uh, to be playing around with. And that's just £17.99. And again, you're getting your two buttons. They're nice, aren't they? Those. Quite often I'll save buttons. I've got a bit of a jar, but they all tend to be like just little boring buttons that have come off, um, that have popped off my jeans. Oh, quite, uh, quite more, yeah, more so um, over the last few weeks, which is quite upsetting. But it's all right. We're all good. We're off for lunch now, aren't we? Today the girls were off for some lunch. So at the moment, the uh, the Moda red bundle. Jaws loves this one. She is a she is a trendsetter. That one's in the lead at the moment. Uh, but do check out as soon as you can. Shall we get her on? Shall we get her on? Uh, if you haven't met her already, she's amazing. You're going to love her. Uh, if you've never bought from us before, today's a great day to do it. So here is a reminder of how you shop with us. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello, 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 hello. Lovely to finally meet you. Thank you. It's just very nice to meet you too. I saw you on the, um, well, you said you did a couple of the, the videos, didn't you, during yeah. lockdown? Yeah. So it's nice to have you <laughs> physically here in the studio. Thank you. And don't forget, now that Jules is here and live, you can send in any messages and any questions for her as well as we go along. Because you're a bit of an expert on Debbie Shaw books now, aren't you? Well, <laughs> at least you're not sitting with me. Debbie Shaw. <laughs> that was so funny. But yes, it's um, and as you were saying before about her books, how they um, are jargon free. Yeah, it makes sense. What she puts down, it's very logical, very straightforward. So when I first started saying things like RST, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> right size together. Where she physically writes right size yeah. together, yeah. things like that. Whereas... And I think um, she made that conscious decision very yeah. early on, didn't she? Yeah. So so, yeah, no, lovely books. And there's lots of stuff in there that you'll just want to, yeah. Well, you get plenty of fabric, yeah, absolutely. don't you? Well, as you were saying, you get two of the big ones. You can get two of the big ones. Um, this is the size that Debbie quotes yeah. in her book. Okay. But you can scale the circle down. 
Um, so I did a smaller one that's a nine inch one that's up there. Um, you could make it bigger as well. I think you could probably get up to about 14, 15 inches out of the half meter that you've got, or maybe wow. slightly bigger. So for cushions that you sit on on your garden chair, something like that. Lovely. But yeah, lots of fabric to play with, so and, that's cool. And lovely book of lots of different projects yeah. to, to do some extra bits as well. So um, which one are you working on today? We're going to be showing how to do the... The cushion. Yep, I'm doing Bab. Moda today. Nice. Oh, and you love this Moda, don't uh, well, you? Well, no, I've got the Canning Town one. Oh, yeah, yeah the Canning, Canning Days, days is Sorry, beautiful. Canning Days, yeah. But I know you did point this one out earlier, didn't I did. You? I thought that was very chaise long, you know, yeah. a bit boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> Ideas above my station, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought that was really nice. And it's really nice to have almost a self print but not quite so the okay. two-tone effect and you just kind of look at it twice yeah so yeah all good stuff a gorgeous gorgeous right so is where normal, is it we start are the, um, <laughs> are the templates full size in the pattern or do we need to upscale them so there are no templates as such okay in the pattern. Oh. so you can choose what you do debbie suggests getting a 12 inch plate but yeah. i think we were talking earlier on desperate dan size plate <laughs> or using the um fiscar's ruler Circle yeah, the cutter circle cut is brilliant. is brilliant. I find it hard to cut a circle. I know yeah. it, it sounds crazy, but and I, I'm always looking around the house like, what can I use? What yeah. can I use? Whereas it's quite, this makes life so much easier. It's quite tricky. And obviously on here, you've got from 2 inch to 12 inch. Perfect. So 12 inch is what we need today. But you, yeah, you, you can use um, that on all sorts of different projects. I pre-cut beforehand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't want to cut live on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat. But if you have a look on here, so obviously with the Fiskars cutter, you just centre it with the cross. Um, you put the base of the curve on the fold of the material. Then you have your little blade. So pull that off. Um, you can engage the blade when you push it down. So you'll put it's it in the groove. You'll hear it getting into yeah. the groove, won't you? Yeah. Uh, I won't do it because otherwise we'll have a hole in the cushion. Um, but yeah, it, that's really simple to use. So um, if you wanted to use that as opposed to using a dinner plate, then that's fine. Brilliant. It's £31.99 and as, as Jill said, you can cut from two inch circles right up to 12 inch circles really quickly and, and really obviously accurately. Fantastic. Thank you. So first thing, we'll put that up there, is you'll make a circle with both of your fabrics. If you have them, um, so lay them out flat, you'll press your fabrics beforehand, lay them out flat and have uh, one on top of the other so that you're cutting them in tandem. Uh, it just means that um, if you've slightly wobbled on it, you've got that wobble on both if you, if you, you know, made a slight error. Uh, then what you'll do is you'll cut them into eighths. She says, get her teeth in. So have you got both of the circles I've there? I've got both of them there. So I've got the small print and the large print. Right. Um, and I've actually cheated a bit and folded them so that we can prep it. But I've got the centre line down there. Mm -hmm. So take your rotary cutter and long ruler. I love this one. And then you'll just... I think that's the same one that um, John Cole Morgan uses all the time. <laughs> it's his favourite. It's got a bit of... It's a nice grip and it's got a bit of welly, you know? Oh, nice blade in there. I think I need to change my blade. <laughs> So it depends on how you want to do it. Um, the suggestion is that you... Oops. She oh, says. Yeah. Well, this is what happens, isn't it? So what you'll do then is you'll fold it in half, crease it, keep them, again, keep them together. Okay. And then, so you're cutting into quarters and then... Forgive me if it's not exactly quarters because the hands are shaking and all the blah. <laughs> so lining up with the end. And then we'll cut them again into eight. So again, fold over, cut down. This will be, and you've got your little point um, to make sure that you're in half. Sorry, a bit further yeah. up. And then we're in the right place. Um, once you've done that, what you'll do is you'll do a bit of mixing and matching because if you notice on the Liberty cushion, they are um, alternating patterns. You won't perhaps see it quite so much on this one because they're similar colours, um, but you will obviously if you have a higher contrast or 
a, a, like the other motor, it's a, a bit more of a contrast on there. Yeah. So, right, all done there. Once you've done all that, put them back into its circle again and you'll be taking tops and bottoms. So, so I've just missed the nick. And alternating them. <clears throat> so what I did was I just, I try and keep them all together because then I know that they're all the same sort of size and orientation. Um, and it just means it keeps you straight as well. If you saw me last time, you'd see that I'd have labels on everything, but <laughs> not so much this time. <laughs> Although, wait for later. <laughs> I was going to say... We've got this, numbers later. <laughs> this is quite a nice project for someone who wants to pay, maybe practice sewing on their curves. And, yeah, and, yeah, most definitely. So you'll take... You'll start... You'll, you'll make your next circle. Sorry, I'm doing a real good job of this. Aren't I? It's all right. So make your next circle. So bottom and top. There was a little nick in that blade, isn't there? Somebody's gone over a pin. So alternate around, and then what you'll do, you'll get into something called chain piecing. Now, if you've done any um, quilting before, then you're probably quite familiar with it, but I'll just talk you through it. Um, and this is quite a good project to practice things like that, you know? Yeah. If you're aiming for a big quilting project and you think, oh, I don't want to start it yet because I'm not sure about all these different terms again, mm -hmm. um, then this is a good starting place. And the easiest thing is to make sure you go around your circle and keep it all the same. So if you take one and pop it on to the other side. So this is my first circle. You have two piles of four. And stitch down the same side on each one. So you get the idea. Mm -hmm. Into pairs. Into pairs. Oh. oh no, one left over. Right, okay, we'll, we'll find it in a minute. Yeah. It will be. <laughs> she said keeping straight. Ah, oh, there we are. We missed one there. Um, then what you'll do is you will. That's why it's good to lay it all out, isn't yeah. it? And... If you've got the space. You know, um, it's easier to do this and it keeps it straight. And then you just go over to the machine. You're working with a quarter of an inch seam. So you can use either a quarter of an inch foot or you can use um, just a, a little bit of masking tape yeah, on there, idea. however you want it to be. Um, so I've got quarter of an inch laid out on here. Or you can just eyeball it. If you're confident, eyeball it. Um, the little end pieces, just make sure that you've got them tucked under your machine. Otherwise chew it'll chew. And actually, it's not that vital that you sew and you do your double tack right at the end because this piece later on will be going through. Um, so it just makes it easier <coughs> if you've got a little bit of looseness there, as it were. So you've come to the end of your first piece, pick your next one up and just feed it along in. Thank you, you were kind to me then. Oh, that, I was going to say, that's going to help as well with it sucking under the, the, the feed dogs, isn't it? Yeah. It, the machine just sometimes doesn't like sewing on nothing, does it? No, it doesn't. So you can feed the it's other one through. It's got nothing to it. kind of pull through, has it? So we're heading around the circle. So this is my four. And actually, if you do it in order, then as you've got your chain piece bits done, um, you just cut them out and lay them out again in order. Now, you're not pinning. If someone was new, would you pin or would you not need to on these shapes, these um, sizes? Probably don't need to no. so much, to be fair, because you've cut it and everything's straight. Yeah. Um, so probably not, yeah. really. If you feel a bit unsure, you can just put a pin in. Okay, so, well, you've got the idea of the chain piecing now. So I'll go to the good old... Oh, forgot I've got scissors. <laughs> Forgot. I was going to say, Forgot. you've got to use that, haven't Forgot. you? You love yeah. it. So we've, we've chain pieced and gone through all of so that. So you do both circles, chain piece both them together. Both circles. And what you'll do is chain piece them all together, open them out. So you'll have that one. You snip and you'll them. have, yeah, snip in between. So snip them all down. You'll have that. Just do a finger press or actually my favourite tool, which I think was in there. My oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, you roll and press. Thing. Yes, love this. This is just a godsend. Just is that yours from there. home? No, all oh, right. 
I don't, so. I don't know where that one's come from. We couldn't find it yesterday, could we? Then it is mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think mine is still at home tucked in. Um, and then you'll sew down. So you'll make that into the half again. Okay. You make another set of four mm -hmm. and then you'll join them all across the middle. Are you pressing those seams to the sides? I did. Yeah. yeah okay. I did. Um, you can press them open and flat. Just, it, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Right. Um, when you get around to the end, actually, she lied. I did press the sample open and flat. Okay. Because when you sew the two circles together... Get quite bulky in the centre. Yeah. Um, and also, in this centrepiece here, just snip off the points. Um, because, again, this is where we're going to put the loop turner through. Uh, I did find on one I'd actually gone a little bit too close to the end, so I just did a, a quick unpick um, in there. So uh, and it, it worked out; it was fine in the end. Right. And also, you're covering the everything with a button, mm -hmm. so it still looks good. So, Brilliant. so at the moment, we haven't had to sew any curves yet, have we? It's no curves. No. But what we'll do now is we'll sew all the way around and cheating alike. I have actually sewn all the way around. Okay. But when you're sewing on a curve, so let's just repeat on a stitch. Do you need to leave a gap for um, turning? You do, yes. Most definitely you do. You want uh, about four inches. So is that turning. basically a whole slice it's of pie? It's a segment, yeah. yeah. It's a segment. Um, so I've turned I this into a pie, by a the pie. way. <laughs> <laughs> Everything to do slice. with food. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so on your pie... Um, Make sure you do a back tack as you start. Go all the way around and do a back tack as you finish because when you're pulling it through and stuffing it, there's quite a lot of tension on those little end pieces. Okay. So you just don't want to split the seam any further around. But when, when you're um, doing a curve, again, it's a quarter of an inch. Just make sure that you've got the feed dogs engaged and let it guide itself around the curve. So you almost... Do that with your hand on the top to let it guide itself and just watch where the edge is compared to your edge of your foot. If you've got a quarter of an inch foot, then you're just lining it up. Or if you've got any other mark, just make sure. And just gently go around. If you're not confident on this stage, go that's slow. all fine. Yeah. yeah, it's not a whole race, is it? So you just take it nice and steady and go around. Nice. Okay. Scissors. That's my fave. Um, so once you've done that, then you're turning it through. Now, with your curves, you're better off if you can just clip a little bit as you go round, and it just reduces the bulk as you turn. If you think, well, I've, I've wobbled in and it's not a quarter of an inch, it's a little bit more than that, again, um, just clip it down. So just don't be afraid of taking it down just that little bit more. Also, I could I go on my pinking shears? You could. Yeah, you could go around if you pinking to. shears. Yeah. And if you really thought it's going to take a lot of hammer, so for example, if you made a bigger one and you wanted to put it outside on a, a, a chair, yeah. um, then possibly you would want to overlock it. You don't need to, but just if it's going to take a lot of pushing down, you might just want to give it a little bit of extra security, okay. that's all. So as you turn it through, then make sure that you're pushing your curves out nicely. And... Try and get in and through all of the edges. And if you use your, um, you can use a turning tool if you want to. You can use, I had a, a turning tool, but it, yeah, I don't need it now. But you could use that or a pin, yeah. a knitting pin. Or just if you've got sharp nails, you can do that. Um, at this stage, if you wanted to press it, you could. But you're going to stuff it now. So not really worth pressing it. Um, what I did do is, where you've got your turning gap, whilst it's at this stage, you could just, if you wanted to, mark around that curve just to give you... Because this is what I find difficult now, is to be able to slip stitch that shirt and it keep the circle. Yeah. So, so if you, you want to mark where you If you carried is. on where that was, if you've got a friction pen um, or an air dry pen, that's fine. And then All our friction can... pens are on the website. Yeah. They're brilliant. Use them all the time. They're great because they will just, when you press them, which we all do at the end of a project, then all your markings will it's just like go. It's like magic, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Without having to scrub it or, yeah. you know, put it in the wash. It's just nice and quick. Just be a little bit careful because you're on a bias. Well, I'm on a bias on this bit. So you don't want to kind of overstretch everything. 
And best then, press is good for that, actually, though, isn't it? If yeah. you want to best press it before you start. Yes. Uh, and kind of any sort of fray stop, but best press is really good because it gives you... When you're cutting it and um, uh, folding it into the eighths, best press would be really good then. Oh, okay. Because it gives you a real crisp cut. Nice. It literally came back into stock. Was it yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Came back into stock. Um, well, I say that. We literally had uh, we had four, and then we had a big order delivery yesterday actually came in. So we quickly brought it back to air, but it's now really limited again. <laughs> I think a lot of people took advantage of it yesterday. It's just £11.99, and this one's the nice lavender vanilla, which smells... Not only does it have great use as well, it also makes your work room smell beautiful. <laughs> so I... Stuff these with the toy stuffing. Brilliant. And you'll get two of those um, out of one pack. Brilliant. Uh, and it's that kind of stuff. That's really stuffed. stuffed. Yeah. So obviously I'm not going to show you how to stuff a cushion. You probably will assume how to stuff a cushion. But once you've got that all in, just put a little bit in there. Um, then what you'll the be doing... Stuffing's on the website, by the way. Is you'll do a bit of ladder stitching. So where we had the line... So fold it over. You can pin it if you want. So it's entirely up to you. So ladder stitching, I don't know if anybody um, is new to this and, and hasn't done ladder stitching before. Mm -hmm. What you'll do is you'll take a length of thread and you've... So this is your seam that you've sewn. You've now got to mimic the seam to sew again. Take your needle up through the edge and bob it in. And then you take your needle across to the other edge and come up along the fold and as you do it you kind of go from side to side so back up in and through the fold and eventually you'll get to the other end and the reason it's called a ladder stitch is if you were to open it out it looks a bit like the rungs of the ladder right. uh, and then you would just carry on complete to the end sew it over make sure you sewn it securely because obviously you've hand sewn that and everything else has been machine sewn so you just make sure it's as tough as the rest of it okay all right so that's where you've got to on that stage um the next stage is the exciting bit i quite like this i've not done this for a long while and what you'll be doing is you'll be taking your um loop turner which we've got here um if you used to do or still do rug making, you'll have seen the end of this before in a larger term. But this has got a little hook and then a latch. Oh, yeah. It's called a latch hook. Uh, and the idea is that you push it through and it's um, opened out. You hook your thread through and you pull it back and it closes up so your thread doesn't come out in the middle of everything. Oh, this is so going to be quite great nifty. for dressmakers as well, isn't it? And bag yeah. makers, one of turning out straps. The rouleau, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. It's on yeah. the website. It's on the website. I think, you, yeah, you've got one, got one there. So um, what you'll do is you'll take a length of embroidery thread, which, again, you've got available, I think. That's yeah, website, we've got loads of skeins as well. The uh, What would you type in onto the website? Anchor. Anchor skeins. That's the code. If you'd, yeah, we could put we a... could put the um. Thank you. We that, can put is that, that the right cut? I'm not sure yeah. if it was, but that was what came on. Um, so take a thread, um, a length of thread. Um, probably about a metre, or thereabouts. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, what you want to try and do. But obviously, if it's the first time you've done it, you won't perhaps be able to gauge it. But what you want to try and do is um, pull all of it through and not have too many knots in it. So take about 12 inches. Right. Uh, and that's your tail. So you'll be holding that. Then decide which side you want to go from. Uh, and it's going to be your top. Because the... the the bottom, if you like, is where you put your button. Yeah. So if your best side is this side, make that your bottom, as okay. it were. <laughs> and then you go um, find the centre point, take your latch hook and push it through. Now, I did cheat a little bit, obviously. I wanted to make it easy on myself. I made sure that I'd got enough gap there. And then you feed through to the bottom. So once you're at the bottom, you've got your... 
tail that you want to hold in one hand, then you hook the thread through the loop and pull it all the way back up. Oh, she says, where did it go? My thread's still stuck. Take two. Open okay. and closed. Open yeah, and closed. Right, and closed. The, there we go. There we are. So hold your tail because you don't want to pull everything all the way back through. Pull it all through. And now you're going over your segment. So Oh, I love this. It's really cool, isn't it? Satisfying. How it all comes together. Uh, you can make smaller versions as pin cushions and they look beautiful. So are you going over your slices exactly where you I'm trying. Segments are? Um, what, until you get a few done it's hard to yeah. keep it in one line but yeah try and do that and then you go back down again with your hook through the hole again at the bottom latch the next strand of thread well next section of thread oh that's really clever and pull it back up again so you carry on doing that and as you go round, pull it keep hold of the bottom <laughs> right, keep holding Ask your me tail. How I yeah. <laughs> so keep it doesn't the all come back yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. And you can kind of manipulate it forwards and back. So you can make that as snug as you sort of want. Yes, as loopy or as yeah. And then again go down your next quadrant, uh no, eighth, eighth rent. Whatever the word for that is. And come back through the bottom. Don't forget you've got lots of seams under here, so that's why you need to kind of fiddle around a little bit. But you, it would be really hard to do it without this Right, without turner. your loop turner. Uh, you've got to make sure that you're, if you have a needle... You wouldn't have a long enough one, no, surely. But if you did, or you squashed it down, you've got to make sure you're going through the same section without catching anything else as you go through. <sighs> so this, it's just a dream. And then you just literally keep doing that until you Is this you're what finished. Debbie suggests using yes. then? Right, I yeah. can say, I wonder Good how. Good old Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> she knew what she was on too. So yeah, you just, and literally that's what you're doing. So for the remainder of it, you're just pulling it through, getting to the next section. Oops, got a friend coming as well. Down and through. And that's that's pretty much the end of it. Um, when you want to tidy it up at the bottom, so let's pretend, and you may have to join a thread. If you have to join a thread, mm -hmm. try and join it um, just a little bit before an opening. So right. Whichever way so it, it will is. get so hidden by as the you pull it, Yeah, exactly. And then when you get to the end, you will obviously you'll have done all of them, pull it through. And you will tie that off. Tie a double knot. And then you've got your tail. So it perhaps won't centre so well because I'm I'm not finished. Um, you've got your tail and this is what you'll attach your button with. So You'll just so make sure that you have got that long enough tail to be able to then attach your button. Yeah, and also it allows you when you um, have brought the last piece through to have a good old tie off. Okay. Because that's what's going to hold the um, shape of that. Yeah. For always. And it is such a lovely shape, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then just as I say, centre your button so you can do a bit of manipulating through the cushion. You yeah. don't necessarily have to uh, uh, have finished in the right place. You can just wiggle it through until you you're quite happy with it all and then once you're happy so this this side you poke a little bit of that I've just pulled as I've been a bit fierce with it you just poke that back through and then the that is your more closed end just line everything up and then you've got a bigger gap on your button side because you've been doing a lot of maneuvering through there and you've been doing your tying off um, so you really do want to put your button on, on the top the side, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, amazing. So and it's such a lovely record. quick uh, project, isn't it? Yeah. And can we show how much fabric you had left over? Because you made the, the large cushion and obviously you made then, this, you've made the I smaller made, one and you've had all of your different pre-makes. Yeah, so all of my um, 
extra part pieces. Legs. I've done. I had three of the large one, mm -hmm. and then I made three of the small one. The um, skein of thread did three projects uh, of the lo uh, of the large one, and then on the small one, can I just yeah. get it down so I sh show you what I did? Um, I had some embroidery thread of my own and you can use even if you haven't got embroidery thread if you have got normal thread um so like your gutterman's or whatever yeah. or you could use variegated thread oh, lovely. in there as well but just make sure you have about six probably um if it was normal sewing thread probably about eight um, strands um to go through so it might be a bit of a fiddle embroidery cotton is a lot better um but i match this with the button that i got put a little bit of ribbon through this grow grain was quite um, thin, so if you wanted to use fine ribbon, yeah. you can actually latch it through. Oh, nice. So just as long as your ribbon is not too thick. Um, and you can put oh, lavender in there. Oh, You lovely. could make them in Christmas material and have yeah. them on your tree. Good you idea. Could do smaller ones. This, as I say, is a nine inch, but if you did, you might find that if you did um, perhaps anything less than a five inch, you wouldn't want to do the two um, quarter, uh, two different materials. Okay. Uh, it would be a little bit fiddly, but you know, if you've got time, do, yeah, you, you could do. Um, I'm it. thinking you could do them in orange and black for Halloween. Oh wow! They look, like, yeah. they look like pumpkin shapes. And instead of putting a button, you could get a little piece of green felt, roll it up, oh, and yeah. make a stalk, and make some leaves. Yeah, good yeah. idea. Yeah. There's so many projects in the book, though, aren't there? That you could yeah. then use any of your leftover bits and bobs and do any of like the oh, kitchen bits and bobs. This, this and such. Um, would make lovely. You know, the cafe. Um, Cafe window oh, curtains. Yeah. That would be brilliant. Yeah. It'd look beautiful. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Thank yeah. you ever so much. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention? Um, I think on this project, no, we're, that's about it really. Oh, no, I lie. I did um, my first practice one that I did without any of this fabric um, when I knew I was getting the project. I used all my old off cuts of fabric. So, you know, the bits that you slice up and they're too small to yeah. do anything else with. Um, and I did it with that, and it makes it quite a sturdy cushion. Yeah. So you could actually add a bit of sand in that and make it a doorstop ah, if you use your old fantastic. bits of fabric in there. So, yeah, that would be quite good some, idea quite to use. Really versatile um, yeah. project, actually, isn't yeah. it? I, I really like so the look. Like I've seen little pin cushions that look like yeah. this. So I like the fact that they're almost like oversized. You could have it as a pin cushion that you keep all of your different sections of different pins yeah. and bits and bobs with. Absolutely. Love it. And do you know what? People look at it and go, oh, how, How did, did you, you do that? that? Yeah. It's so amazing, but it is fairly straightforward. It takes a little bit of, um, you know, fiddling around, getting seams straight and everything, but yeah. it's really nice. Nice quick yeah. project. Yeah. Luke Turner, real handy uh, help, actually, so oh, you can definitely get one of those amazing. on the website. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. We've got Quilt As You Go with you in the next hour, yes, haven't we? That's is exciting. this something you've done before? I hadn't done a Jean Taylor. I'd seen them, right. but I hadn't actually done one. Um, and I thought, oh, that's a nice adventure. And the, I'll, I'll show you a little bit later. But it's really um, interesting how you can put different fabrics together and just get a different look. Uh, and I spotted the fabric that oh. you've got. No spoiler alert, but it's some of the most popular fabric we've launched since the, the start of Sewing Street. It's been so popular. And um, I know that uh, the, the team were very sneaky and started actually uh, saving some of this fabric for some projects because we haven't seen this in a project. It sold out by the half metre in the first showing. So I'm really pleased that we've still got some for this project because it's beautiful. What a gorgeous bag. Yeah. My favourite. Love that. Favourite material so far. <gasps> she says every time. That's yeah, I know. That's my favourite, but I, I love know. bees, so yeah. That's really good. And um, yeah, well, we won't talk yeah. any more about it because, as you say, spoiler alert. But <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, we're coming to that in an hour. Thank you ever so much. That's Thank right. You. Thank you. We'll see Thank you very soon. <laughs> I'll see you soon. We're going to have a quick roundup of all of the kits. So if you haven't yet purchased, don't worry. We're going to have a bit of a sort through of everything that Jules used. Uh, for anybody who hasn't yet seen, this is how you get involved. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue. 
by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. I'm just literally having a good flick through of, oh, I want to make one of these and one of these. These are really lovely. There's so many amazing projects. Um, you've got 30 different projects that are all really sort of quick and simple. We're working from the Half Yard Home but from our gorgeous Debbie Shaw. Not that we're biased or anything, but they're the best books. So let's have a bit of a closer look through. So here's the uh, what we were making. And as Jewel said, really, really clear instructions. Here's Debbie using that loop turner. Um, there's some great projects in here. Let's go have a bit of a look through because it's already really, really popular indeed. Uh, before you start, you'll learn all of the different tips and techniques from Debbie. So you'll get useful things, different uh, tools that she uses, things like threads and scissors, different marking tools, different adhesives that she uses, rotary cutters, etc. Anything that she finds very useful. Also goes through your hand stitching. So you've just seen uh, Jules there doing ladder stitch to close up her seam, but goes through. This is really useful. Not not normally, they don't normally sort of talk you through that extent of it in a book. So this is really useful. Normally they'll just say, and close up the hole. You're like, um, Am I guessing? Am I doing it on my machine? Am I whip stitching? Am I slip stitching? Am I ladder stitching? What's the best thing to do? And I know lots of people do it differently, but I like that Debbie holds your hand through it and says, right, this is what I suggest you do. Don't get me wrong. If you've got a different way of doing it um, that suits you, we learn along on our journey. But Debbie's brilliant at going through for people who might never have sewn before. Snipping into... Um, it's snip, snipping into a curve, bias binding, top stitching. Then it goes into your lovely projects. These are cute, aren't they? I love these yo-yos. They are gorgeous that you can have on, you can have them on headbands, you can have them on bags, you can have them on cushions, you can have them as brooches. There's so much, I love them. Look, just to have them on little magazine racks, on the end of tablecloths, that looks pretty, doesn't it? I like it to cover up any of my um, my points that don't quite meet on a, qu a quilt. <laughs> Your cube basket. Oh, oh. You've also got, I love these as little like fruit bowls or bread baskets. They're your cube baskets. Or oh, to have little fat quarters. You could have your fat quarters in there. Magazine box. It never stays as the magazine box cat. What do you mean? Oh, letters get put in there. Oh, I see. Cables, batteries. I see. It's one of those boxes. Uh, your vase sleeve recycling, uh, res sorry, reversible knitting bag. A dining room. You've got your coasters. These are lovely little coasters. Look at this. This is so good. Do you know, I like this idea because also when you do have a drink, you don't know... You, if you put it down and you're thinking, right, whose glass is who, especially at the moment, it's nice to be able to know whose glass is who. Normally, yeah, I'll take a swig of anybody's glass, but now at the moment, I am more, um, yeah, I don't advocate that, especially at the moment, I absolutely will not, obviously. So, it's better to know if you are getting to the point of maybe, you know, going to relatives or having uh, friends over for dinner, then this is really lovely to be able to have as a, um, no, to know exactly whose cup is who and no drips no drips have you got one of those wooden tables that you get marks Jo and Liam have got a new table you put a glass on it the other day oh no did you get told off hanging hearts napkins they're so pretty aren't they and you could use some lovely buttons and pearls seed beads have a look on the jewelry maker website if you want to get any lovely beads because these would look so pretty wouldn't they all beaded as well picture frame fabric bowl chair slip in the kitchen apron oven mitts you've got so many projects in here all for just nine pounds 99 this is the cafe curtain that um that draws really liked 
That would look lovely in the uh, in the canning days. How much fabric do you need for that? It's definitely worth making the most of it, especially with the bundles. You're getting half a metre of each of your fabrics. So, shall we have a look through? Bunting, garment, protector, picnic time. There's so many projects for just £9.99. Very, very popular indeed from my lovely Debbie. We've got three different bundles to choose from. Liberty Bundle first, which is the one that you saw Jules making the cushion out of. What I like about this is that you've got a very, very strong contrast, haven't you? So you can really differentiate between those uh, different segments. You've got half a metre of... Uh, the one with that lovely bright yellow. How nice is this? And then also half a metre of your shadow. This is the newest. Uh, yeah, sorry, my sticker problem it arises again. So you get two half metre, plus then you have your, um, you then have your buttons as well, which are lovely, aren't they? That's to make oh, plenty of these cushions. You're going to have a whole selection, at least two of the large ones with leftover. Or you could make small ones, you can make pink cushions using them. Oh, I really like that idea. I've told you before that Hannah went to school at the same place where the lady who wrote, was it a lady or a man? Lady who wrote The Borrowers. Um, so she always likes things that are oversized. So you could use this as a pink cushion, couldn't you? It's The Borrowers. We've also got your mode. This is the most popular. This is the most popular. What's the weirdest oversized thing that you've uh, that you've got, Hannah? That reminds you of the borrowers. What's the the weirdest thing? Half a meter of each of your motors. She bought <laughs> she bought her dad a, a giant pencil sharpener that you store pencils in. That's good. <laughs> I'd love to meet your family. I want to know if they're like you. <laughs> Half a metre of each of your lovely classic motor. As Jules uh, quite rightly described, it's very chaise long boudoir, isn't it? Beautiful, classic prints. So half a metre of each and your buttons for $17.99. And then finally, the canning days. Half a metre of each. They're so pretty. These are the ones that you saw Jules working with. Very, very popular indeed. Whenever we had any of the smaller pre-cuts of, uh, of canning days, sold out very, very quickly. So if you do love those prints together, they look very pretty. Not as stark as a contrast as the uh, the, the, uh, the Liberty, but because of the different scales of print, you still see that obvious difference. They're really nice. I like that one as well. Do check out as soon as you can on any of the bundles and the book. Things like the loop turner, your skeins, any hand sewing needles, bits and bobs. It's definitely worth going to the website and stocking up if you've made the most of any of those deals. Do not go anywhere because we're launching one of the most beautiful collections of fabric. Interesting history as well, coming up after this. Hello, my name's Rachel Ilsley. Let me show you around my beautiful sewing studio, Magnolia. My sewing studio is in Wooten Bassett and on a daily basis I alter and dress make for bridal customers. All my brides are absolutely wonderful. You can see I make waistcoats, bridesmaids, dresses, um, anything really they ask me for. Now my sewing story started as an adopted child and my adoptive mother was also a seamstress so she taught me everything I know. So I feel extremely lucky to be able to now be doing this as a profession. Also very proud am I to be now a part of the Sewing Street family. And I so look forward to being on the shows with all of your support, which I know that I have. My claim to fame. Well, I did appear on another sewing channel in last November, on the 7th of November, some of you may have watched it. Um, and so that was my little claim to fame. So I've just literally risen from a full-time insurance job to sewing as a profession. I look forward to seeing you all. Bye.
Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We have got a um, brilliant hour. Oh, some gorgeous brand new fabrics. We love them. And I know you will love them too. I know there's loads that you'll absolutely love. Um, we're going to start with something different though. So yesterday, I'm just going to move these slightly over. Yesterday, we made a beautiful bag and we were saying to Cara, oh, the Starville's out of stock. And then during the show, we know that we had um, a delivery basically. You all know the story. We got into lots of trouble yesterday. We kept putting things on air that weren't on our list. Um, but I must say, we did have this on our list. We just didn't have it in stock because we were doing the bag and then we realized it was there. Um, so I just wanted to update everybody on stock of this for anyone who might have missed it. There's only 30 units left and it literally came into stock yesterday. It's brilliant because it is um, a, fu it's a fusible foam, basically. It's a, you can get sewing foams, but what I love about this one is that it's got like a, you can feel it slightly sort of, um, What's the word? Like you can feel the glue, you can hear it scratchy sort of back where you can feel the adhesive. So you can you can literally press this straight onto your fabric and it's got the most amazing structure that it will literally sort of bounce back if you're making any bags, if you're using it for storage tubs, if you're using it for, I've seen people making cat beds with it as well. If you do want something that's got that structure, it's got more structure than H640 uh, and more body to it, but you can still sew through it, it's brilliant. So let me show you what you get for £6.99. That's the size of it. It. So, no, uh, yes, that's the size of it. So, if you do want to multi buy, it will come 
joined up it will come it will be cut for you uh, off the bolt so if you do want multiple units now's your chance to make the most of it it's just six pounds 99 before we do a quilting collection to think about other ways of using this quilting fabric it isn't just for quilting don't feel limited because I know a lot of people are going to fall in love with this fabric and then think, oh, but do you know what? I'm not a quilter. So have a different, you know, different eyes on this, of different ways you can use it. Because I'm thinking for bag making, this would be absolutely beautiful. Or storage tubs, it'd be amazing. We're down to just 20 units of the, the, the Starville, so do check out as soon as you can. This is the Visaline product as well, isn't it? It is an official Visaline product, so it's beautiful quality as well. It's £6.99. Any guidance that you might need, their website, Visaline's website, have some great information on there as well. Um, but it's your chance to buy it as well, as much as you want. Something else that came into stock yesterday, though, oh yes, I did mention, which I shouldn't have, which also works very, very well with this collection, if you're doing things like wall hangings or cushions or bags, is your calico. Now, this is different to any other calico. If you're thinking, hang on, I don't know if I use calico for my wall hanging, it's quite stiff. Oh, no, 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 no. This is actually already pre-shrunk calico. So it's very soft. It's beautiful. It's 249 half meter. And look, you get loads. It's extra wide. It's got almost like, you know when you have a very posh vanilla ice cream and it's got that, that natural, lovely vanilla seeding? That's what it reminds me of. It's so beautiful and natural. It's a lot softer than the other calico that we've previously bought. The other calico is absolutely fine. You can make great twirls with it. You can use it for all sorts. Whereas this, especially pre-shrunk, it says for quilters, um, but don't worry. I mean, you could still use this for all sorts. You can use this in your dressmaking. You could use it in ragdoll making. Be beautiful. The other one I wouldn't recommend, just plain calico, I wouldn't necessarily recommend for ragdoll making. Whereas this, a little bit more expensive, um, but a lot easier to use. It's a lot softer. You can use this uh, amongst your quilting. Obviously, be aware it, it is slightly different um, weight, but it will go really, really nicely with any of your brand new fabrics. So just £2.49 and a half meter and you get loads. Definitely chance to check out now. Remember, as many units as you want, it will all come uh, cut off the bolt, especially for you. So if you do just want to stock up on loads of calico by the half meter, it's just £2.49 and it is your quilt is pre-shrunk. So you can see it is so beautifully soft. Still use it for your twirls. You can still use it for your dressmaking, um, but it is going to give you even more options of what you're going to be able to use it for. Even if you're practicing sewing or summer holidays are here, if you want to get children sewing and you don't want them diving into your new fabrics or your liberties or your modas, it's a really good one to, to have a bit of a practice with. We talk about making a twirl with dressmaking, but why not have a bit of a, a you know, a recce with a, a bag? definitely worth having a go if you are thinking do you know what I'm going to dive in to make this bag and I just want to have a bit of a practice with it first then this is brilliant to do it just want to talk about other ways of using this fabric we're talking about essentials not essentials but very useful uh, extras today that we don't necessarily talk about every day on air things like your solids we've got some beautiful solids uh, in this hour that complement as well and not just feeling limited because it says for quilters or because I say this is a quilting weight cotton, don't think that this is only going to be, you know, just for quilters. So have a bit of an open mind of different things you can make. That's brilliant. Right, so the fabric collection that I'm gonna show you in a second is from a brand new company to us. Um, it's the first time that we've ever had anything from this company and they specialize in historical fabrics. I absolutely love that. Now, Hannah has had a bit of a look online this morning and she was saying, I've, I've actually really found it difficult to source online. Um, in the UK, it's really, really difficult to get here in the UK. In America, you might be able to get it, but then think about the shipping costs you're going to have to pay. Uh, you might find the old place that you can get it. But actually, we've done really, really well to be able to get this in the UK, um, which is fantastic. So these are all made by Washington Street Studios, which as I say, are renowned for fantastic, almost like historical print fabrics. They're beautiful. They do uh, authentic, antique, reproduction uh, fabrics, basically, from the 1700s, 1800s, and early 1900s. 
which is so exciting, isn't it? It's so exciting. So, uh, have a look, dive in, have a look at these beautiful colours. So, you have got 12 metres in your mega bundle. We will look at all of these individually. They are absolutely beautiful. So not only are these fabrics inspired by true, you know, actual fabrics of older eras, but this collection in particular is, is actually designed around inspiration of a famous uh, American author who in her day was almost like the J.K. Rowling of our day. Uh, so she was an incredibly successful and famous author. Uh, have a look at this. So... Uh, this collection, as I say, is from the Washington Street Studio. And there she is, there at the bottom. The, the picture at the top there is, um, is of Wildflower Woods, which is what the collection is named after. So Yvonne Cook um, was, the, was the, the name of the, uh, the, the designer of this collection. So paying tribute to Jean Stratton Porter's outspoken advocacy of nature conservation. Uh, Yvonne Cook was transla has translated the important legacy into a fabric collection. The light and wispy groups of wildflower weaving through the wind and subtle greens and earthy browns and intricately de uh, detailed twirling vines are so reminiscent of the beautiful wildlife she so uh, valiantly fought to conserve. So obviously, when we, it reminded me a lot of actually the story when we were talking about Mae Morris and you know how much she loved nature. All of the fabrics are absolutely beautiful. So you have got such gorgeous uh, prints of nature, the vines that are, are weaving through. Look at these. Obviously, Washington Street Studio are renowned for fabrics that, you know, reproduction of antique quilts and antique fabrics. So it is obviously brilliant for them to have teamed up to be able to, to create such a beautiful collection. Okay, do you want to know a little bit more about, uh, about wildflower, uh, wildflower collection and wildflower itself? So have a look at this. This is again more a bit more about uh, Geneva Stratton, who was born in 1863. She was an American author. Uh, she was also a photographer, naturist, uh, naturalist, not a naturist, <laughs> artist and filmmaker. She could buy a bit. Um, so the, the, the novel that she was very famous for, the first novel that she had was uh, The Song of Cardinal, it, it, which is the bird, obviously, The Song of Cardinal. In her novels, she combines her knowledge of her love for nature with stories of romance and hardship, adventure, 12 no novels, seven nature studies, three books of poetry and children's books as well. So she really was... You know, one of the J.K. Rowling's of her day. She was incredibly famous back in the 19, early 1900s. So in 1900s, she moved to uh, Sullivan Lake in Indiana. After the time they started construction on a cabin at Wildflower Woods, which is what this collection is about, the vast forest allowed Jeannie to continue her nature studies, writing and photography. She helped preserve endangered plants in her gardens and is also where she was laid to rest. So she is actually now buried in that nature preserve in Indiana, which is amazing. The, her, the life is amazing. The life this amazing woman led and the boldness she demonstrated in her own, uh, in making it her place, paved the way for so many women to pursue their dreams. She gave, she gave so much to the world in her intricate, detailed and passionate writing about the natural world. Uh, so I love the fact that this is almost in memory of her. Do you know what I mean? This was this is a collection that was put together in fabric designer that... Oh, let me move it where, sorry, cat. There you go. It's really nice though, isn't it, that the fabric designer has sort of said, you know, we really love this woman and I feel so inspired. It's amazing that they've created a collection. That's what Hannah dreams of people doing, doing about her, isn't it? That's what everyone, you want Hannah. <laughs> Hannah dreams of the day that the V&A Museum, you know, someone's inspired a collection around her. 
£164.78 for 12 metres of fabric. Oh, see, in Wildflower Woods as well, Hannah was reading that she actually planted over 3,000 different species of flowers there. She was so passionate. It's still a really historical site today that people visit in Indiana. So, in Indiana. so if you ever get the chance and if you know anybody that's over there, then it would be amazing to visit, wouldn't it? So this is obviously the makeup bundle, which we do have now less than 10 less than 10 of. We were saying earlier on, sourcing it in, U in the UK has been proven extremely difficult. And it is our first time that we've ever had anything from Washington Street Studio. It's the first time that we've had it. Do you know what? No, I didn't. So there's also these four, which I selected out under the desk. <laughs> They're also in your mega bundle. So you have got 12 meters. I've hidden these because these were my favorites. Um, I did hide these. So you're actually getting 24 half meters of, uh, 24 half meter cuts, which is brilliant. Love them. So we're gonna start with those. I am gonna look at these individually by the half meter, but I thought it is nice to just know a little bit more about the collection and about uh, the designer and where it came from. I like, I do like the idea of how designers sort of get the inspiration and where they get the inspiration from. So, especially from, you know, a real powerful, fantastic woman back in the 1900s, it's really exciting. So, which one do I want to do first? Now, we've got this on two different colourways. We've got it on black and we've got it on brown. And it looks so beautifully dramatic. I was only saying this morning, that pink is gorgeous. We were only saying earlier on, normally I think of very contemporary quilts that have got that stark black background. But actually, it works so well with more of your classics as well, doesn't it? £7.49, and let me just show you, half a metre looks like that. Half a metre looks like this so you've got so much fabric oh so great to see some of you already checking out on it i love seeing those big larger prints and just so you know the mega bundle is also down to four <gasps> i knew you would love this collection it's so beautiful it has a very sort of motoresque feel to it doesn't it we all um if i'm being brutalized we all thought it was moda when we first saw it arrive in the building um it's gorgeous but actually because we thought oh do you know what it's not it, it isn't moda we're going to have a bit of a, a read up on um on this on this brand new company to us it's really interesting uh, and it's brilliant to have sort of find a company that actually specializes in reproduction of some of the most incredible antique fabrics and quilts it's brilliant but also makes it into that modern fabric so it means that you're going to be able to wash it it means that you're going to be able to sew with it it means you're going to be able to cut it up and stitch back together however you want it is that modern quilting fabric quilting weight but as i said at the start of the show think beyond quilts think of so there's so many different projects that this is going to be really really useful for just seven pound 49 and a half meter and i must say i love it with that dark dramatic background it's beautiful it really is contrasting with that bright pink isn't it it's quite um even if you're not a pink pink person normally i think you'll absolutely love this fabric still it's got the neutrals it's got those warms it's got those beautiful big flowers and the, the depth to it is fantastic so that's seven pound 49 and a half meter uh, we've got so many that I want to get through, so I would sit and talk about each one for the next 20 minutes, but we are going to sort of fly through as many as we can. This is Wildflower Woods in brown next, which is very, very similar, but this time with a slightly softer background, it gives you a different look again completely, does it? So this one is uh, this time with almost that like mocha background. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I, I am thinking for dressmaking as well, you know. I think that would look so beautiful. I think I'm upside down. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Yeah, that looks better. You've also got a chance to make bags with this, soft furnishing. If you're thinking for quilting, it's ideal. And obviously they've thought about the different scales of print for you. So throughout the collection, you've got great scales, uh, you know, different scales of print. Tie backs, just tie backs. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could do some really fabulous curtains or blinds with this, but even just, just tie backs, just a little hint. 
seven pounds forty nine and a half meter. Yeah, let me do the other two that I've got here because they're beautiful. These were my favourites. They are so nice. Don't get me wrong, it was hard to choose because they're all beautiful, but I do really like this. We've got, let's do the stripe one first because that's really different. This one is ending in, we have this in a couple of um, different colourways. This is 21. I do love this stripe. It reminds me of a really beautiful like boudoir um i'm thinking like to to have a little a, a little cushion little cushions just small cushions not oversized cushions a nice piped cream corded edge seven pounds 49 and a half meter fantastic price point as well and i like the fact that you've got the stripe in the background but you've got those two different contrasting you know shades of pink very traditional isn't it traditional and and i just say it's timeless i think you know a lot of different people think of of quilting a lot of people's minds go to this sort of timeless florals, this sort of colour palette. That's why Moda does so much in this sort of colour palette. Are you spinning or am I? Did anybody else see it spinning? Oh good, it wasn't just me. Look at the detail. I tell you what, the print is fantastic quality, isn't it? To have that definition between each of those stripes, that is brilliant. Oh, I hope we get more from this company because it is beautiful quality fabric. I must say it's so, so soft. If you are uh, quilting with it, it's going to be beautiful. Seven pounds, 49 and a half meter. And then the last one that I picked out, don't get me wrong, they're all gorgeous. We've got this one in a few different colorways, but we've got the same large floral print with a cream background this time. This is ending in 70. <gasps> Oh, gorgeous. That's so beautiful, isn't it? That is so beautiful. Oh, that is just like country cottage, stately home, escape to the country. I'm um, sorry. This one is, oh, sticker issues again. D-E-Y-V-70. I would love, uh, you know, this is one of those sort of hazy days, little afternoon nap maybe, little cushion, just really content. It's a lovely soft colour. I was saying this yesterday to Paul, I just feel just really content today. I wouldn't say I was overly happy, excited or anything. I was sad, just quite content. And I did go home and have a nice little afternoon nap yesterday. Oh, it was lovely. It's a really nice day. I think we all need days like that, don't we? But that fabric just makes me feel that again. That is just it's really soft, subtle and soft. I'm thinking in a bedroom, it's going to instantly feel relaxing. Upholstering a stool, a little dressing room stool, or a chair, just a chair, seat pad. You know, if you've got a little dressing room table and chair or, uh, you know, in your bedroom, a little chair in your bedroom. Debbie Shaw's book actually does a, a tray cover for inside of your inside of your tray. So if you have um, a normal, if you have like a tray and then you have a little cover that goes inside so you're not getting all rubbish on it. Because this you can wash. Maybe to keep your makeup on, keep little bits on your dressing table. That'd be beautiful. That one is the most popular one so far. The most popular so far. Now, right, let's dive in. Should we stick with the pinks? I'm gonna stick with another pink. This next one is um, WLYV93. So this, I say pink. It's like a corally salmon. It's really pretty. It's not a pink pink. It will go beautifully with any of the others. But can you see it's got more of like a coral sort of theme feel to it. 
seven pounds 49 yeah let's have a look at the details see it says on orange wouldn't say it was orange but it's definitely like a more of a corally pink this is your ash leaves i love this vibe you know earlier on when we saw what what, what the uh, collection was inspired by and this is just like growing vines isn't it It's so pretty with all these little lovely little dots as well. Tiny detail. Seven pounds forty nine and a half meter. Every single one of them, honestly, you will adore. And they will all go together so well. Different scales of print. So if you do want to do smaller projects, what about little toiletry bags, little makeup bags? Obviously, I wouldn't want to cut this one up to do a smaller project because you, you're going to lose some of those really big bloom flowers. Whereas this one, because it is a smaller scale print, it's going to be ideal for smaller projects as well. Even if you're just getting half a metre of this, think of how much you're going to be able to do. Even doing, you know, the project that we had in the last hour. That would look gorgeous with the, um, with the little cushions. And using one of the contrasting fabrics, we've got some contrasting, uh, complementing... I should say, not contrasting, complementing solids, which we think are going to look lovely. Just having half a metre of one of these and half a metre of a, a solid. It's going to go a long way, isn't it? Right, I'm going to jump to another striped one, as the pink stripes were really, really popular. This one is BQYV26. And you've got lovely creams and golds. It's almost slightly olive green. Uh, Sprigs as well coming through. 749 and a half metre. They are just so reminiscent of some of the most classic quilting designs, aren't they? Soft furnishings as well, though. These are going to be beautiful for around the home because a lot of us, I know, work with a lot of these beige colours and, and magnolias, uh, you know, war very warming colours, aren't they? Perfect for your home. 749 and a half metre. They almost look like pampas grass. I'm a bit addicted to pampas grass at the minute. Oh my word, no, I didn't know that. 749. I'm not telling you what Hannah told me, but I'll take it in from out my house now. No way! I love it. It's so pretty and fluffy. <laughs> Seven forty nine and a half metre. It's actually wheat. It's not pampas grass. It's wheat. We've got it with um like a dark, uh, with actually a, a black vine running through, which I would think, do you know what? I don't know if it's going to work. It works so, so well. A lot of people taking advantage of this. Remember, your mega bundle is now incredibly limited. If you love all of these and you can't quite choose, this one's YTTV12. There you go. Oh, sorry, that's your mega bundle. There's your mega bundle. Look, oh my word, I can see from a distance as well. You've almost got like a secondary pattern as well, haven't you? The way that the vines are sort of all laid out, they look beautiful. See how interesting that is, again, with those, with the black running through. Every so often they've got like a real dramatic pattern. They're not all just singular in there. There's two in there. You've got the pattern... Um, You've got that pattern repeat, haven't you? Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Have a look elsewhere and see if you can find this uh, collection. We'd be interested to know, because we struggled to find it in the UK. It's a collection that's obviously uh, from America. And this is what is great about Sewing Street as well, is a lot of people have been getting in touch with our team and saying, right, can you get this in? I'm really struggling to get it here in the UK. Maybe this was one of those collections that, um, was upon somebody's request actually because you can't get it here in the UK really difficult without all of the sort of import situation and postage costs um you've only got our one pmp all day long even if you've already checked out on one of the uh, items earlier on today you're still only going to pay one postage and packaging it's all consolidated at the end of the day which is great isn't it not like you know the um well, there's lots of websites that don't offer you that i think we just sort of take it for granted here but um no, all of your orders are consolidated and then you'll pay only one PMP. Right, let's go to 
this one. Right, we've got three different colorways. I will show you them all. I will show you them all because they are beautiful. We've got pinks, creams, and then we've also got one with the black stripe as well. Which was your fave? See, those all together. And if you're doing things, uh, you know, like a plique, think about how many different sections, if you're doing English paper piecing, how many different sections you're going to be able to take from there and it looks like completely different fabric. You just isolate parts of it. They're all gorgeous. Right, we'll go for this one first, which is... I'll get the code for your cat. Um, sorry. Is CGYV75. CG? Ah, your initials, I was going to say, you're a Wilcox. That is so beautiful. That is so, so beautiful. This is your royal pink floral. It is gorgeous. I actually am going to go far as saying this is shimmered up into my lead as well. Yeah. I know we didn't show it at the start, but I didn't see all of this detail. Look at the little stripes in this. I love that one. That stripe is beautiful. Now, the stripe, let me show you, is running vertically, obviously. So if you are multi-buying, the stripe will continue on. It will continue on through. So um, if you are thinking of making, oh gosh, there's so much that you're going to be able to do with this, with a border, uh, that would look gorgeous going across with the border. A work bag would look beautiful. All of his sewing things in like a duffel start bag would look absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? If you want to do some fancy pyjamas, you know, ones that you only wear for uh, going to special, you know, if you're going out, pyjama events. <gasps> no. It always happens to me. If ever I go to a, go away and stay in a hotel, the alarm, the fire alarm goes off and I'm always wearing like not very, um, you know, just old, just old pyjamas. I think I need to get myself a nice pair of going away pyjamas. Imagine making some lovely like trousers, these that look beautiful. 749.5 meter. We've also got it with the gold. Yeah, this one is um, QRYV42. This is quite whimsical, actually. This is really whimsical. This is so pretty. Exactly. Yeah, it's really pretty. Very regal. Just seven pounds forty nine half meter. I think every single one of us has got different ideas of what we want to do with this. It's so pretty. It really, really is. It's going to go for so with so many different projects and with also complementing fabrics. Even if you've just got your cream or your calico, you know your quilters pre shrunk calico. It's going to look beautiful with this. Isn't that gorgeous? We've also got, if you're loving any of the contrast with the, the real stark sort of black backgrounds, very, very popular indeed. We'll do this one and then we'll have a little bit of a recap. So we've got this one with the black stripe running through, which is so, so cool. All available on the website, by the way, if you do want to um, start stocking up on any of the ones that you've seen already. This one is ZKYV70. You've got those lovely pinks and reds, your golds, those lovely stripes running through. See, that blue is really quite striking, isn't it? Next to the black, you've got the turquoise blue ribbon almost running through. That really stands out next to the, next to the black. We'll have a look uh, a bit closer because even detail on this one you notice slightly more, I think, of all of the spots that are running down the side of the uh, down the side of the stripes. Seven pounds forty nine a half meter. Wildflowers in floral. 
and it's ever so soft. I must just remind you, this is beautiful quality cotton fabrics. Just 749 a half metre. We've also got... Oh, in fact, just a quick recap. Just the, uh, the first one that we had, uh, this one. It is the most popular. In fact, this would go beautifully with the one that we had. This is the this would look really really nice with the stripe. I'm gonna put it next to it. So these two together would look great. They look amazing, wouldn't they? Just seven pounds forty nine and a half meter. So this one is the most popular. The most popular. There is now less than 20 metres in stock, full stop. That is everything that we have. This would go beautifully with the stripe as well. That's the one that we've just shown. But just an update on your pink roses. Half a metre looks like that. And there are now very limited availability on that one by the half metre. I'm hoping that the team have taken some out for some projects. Because I've got a feeling this collection is going to not be here very long. That is so nice. Right, let's whiz through as many as we can because we're aware of time and I know that we could, um, we could sit and talk about these the whole of the hour, couldn't we? Let's go to... Now, I don't want to call these blenders because they're all individual fabrics as they are. This green... This one is um, P -Z P -X -Y -V 60 And they've got beautiful pink, almost like little, um, what are they, like little bows? Or little butterflies. This is your stems in brown branches. That's a lovely colour as well. That's like an olivey, sagey green. It'll... Just give you a bit more of a, you know, subtle movement to quilts in your block. This is a great thing. When you're buying from a collection like this, they've thought about all the different scales of prints and the movement and the texture that you're going to get. That's beautiful. We've also got it in a, like a crimson. Which is also quite interesting because if you were to work with original fabrics, you know, from historical eras, then they probably would have been from leftovers of dresses, or shirts, things like that. As they get to develop the collection, you know that the quality is great for you to make for a new generation, another generation. And you've still got those scales of print to make your patchwork and your designs more effective. This is going to be beautiful. Um, sorry, this is SLYV96. This is called... Oh, they're, they're birds. They're called whirly birds. Was the other one not called? Was the other one called whirly birds? This one's called whirly birds. Yeah, I've got a feeling it could be a different one. Seven forty nine and a half meter. We will find out very soon. We've also got. Have we got? So we've got one other called whirly birds. Oh, that was the only one called Whirly Birds. Even though they are the same print, that was the only one called Whirly Birds. This one, again, has got Whirly Birds on it, but it's called something different. This is UQYV13. This was called Cream Stems. You can still see the Whirly Birds. 7.49. Oh, this with any of those really dramatic prints as well. Seven pounds forty nine a half meter. Aren't they beautiful? I think that's going to look lovely with one of those really um, dramatic prints, just as more of a mixer. But you've still got interest. You've still got the print. It's going to come through beautifully. But if you if you are mixing it with one of your your big bold floral prints, it's just going to blend in nicely. You're thinking that for some smaller household products projects, things like little 
storage boxes and pin cushions. Maybe if, if you got um, Debbie's book in the last hour. There's lots of lovely makes for that fabric. Just so you know, Starville's now sold out. Oh, it will be on reorder, don't worry. Literally came back in yesterday, so it's definitely worth If you do hear it on air that it's come back in, grab it whilst you can. This, I think, would make a beautiful blouse. This is stunning. This is MDYV85. Gosh, isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. This would be beautiful to, you know, you could create your own sort of applique template, applique template with it. Yeah. MDYV85. Right, ignore the graphics because it says it's in green. It's cream, definitely cream, with like a black, it's definitely got a black floral print. It is the right one. This is the one that you'll get. It's just, they've linked it, um, they've linked with something else in the graphics, don't worry. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Really interesting to see this print with the, with the black and cream print, isn't it? Really very, very striking indeed. We also do have this print with, um, with pink. I'd have both, half a metre of each of these. Let's have a look what we call the pink. <laughs> this one is, um, what's the code? Let's have a look. I-N-Y-V-95. The print on this is so pretty. There you go. This is Rose in Rosebud. That makes a bit more sense. With your cream and the lovely sort of cascading floral print. Seven pounds forty nine and a half meter, and it is your chance. Just a reminder to be able to buy by the half meter. You can buy as much as you want, and it will be cut off the bolt, especially for you. I say that be careful with some of them because they're now already very limited. Just so you know, the large flowers with the brown background. We saw it with the black background. We said that was very popular. Close, close behind is the uh, the large flower with the brown back with the brown background. Which um, one second? Let me find for you. Is this one? Yeah, I think we all loved this one, didn't we? Nice mocha background. Just seven pounds forty nine at half metre. Very limited by the half metre if you do want. And I know when you are looking at bigger scale prints, you might be thinking of larger projects. If you do want more than half a metre, check out as soon as you can. Only one PMP, just keep checking out. Even if you're thinking of getting something else from this collection later on in the hour, don't worry, you'll still only pay one PMP. We've now got still loads to do. It's such a great big collection, isn't it? That's why the Mega Bundle, I think, has been so popular. This is JZY V50. So this is the same print again, this time on brown. I say brown, I don't like brown. It's like a uh, mocha, mocha. They call it beige. This is like a very, very warm beige. It's not boring beige. It's like a really lovely latte colour. And then you've got these deep chocolates. I'm gonna mix beautifully with the most popular one, actually. Mix those two together. We've also got, I think that's all of these ones in that, uh, that design. I've got floral next. Floral, this is WFYV50. First time we've ever seen these prints. First time that we've ever worked with Washington Street Studio. And they specialise, remember, in recreating and, and, and bringing back to life some very old, even um, antique fabrics and quilts. And I love the fact that they've been, um, of course, inspired as well by that amazing, inspirational author uh, who was incredible incredibly famous back in 1900s, early 1900s, 18 
just seven pounds, 49 a half metre. It's definitely worth it having a look online. As we said, we've really, really struggled to get this here in the UK. And I want to have a look more into Wildflower Woods itself. You keep calling her Genevieve. Is her name Genevieve? YJYV51. I was thinking, I don't think her name's Genevieve. And you're like, I want to know more about Genevieve. <laughs> Is it Jeannie? Yeah. This is black with sunflowers. They are so pretty. I really like that pop of red as well. 749 and a half metre. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Again, this would make great blouses, lovely for shirts, dressmakers. Even though we're talking a lot about quilting, we said at the start of the show, think about other projects as well. This is going to go a long way. This is going to be brilliant for lots of different projects. Uh, we've got this in a different colourway, lighter cream with a pink pop. So if you did get any of those big, bold floral prints with the pink, this would look lovely. This one is, sorry, trying to find the code, uh, WSYV84. Oh, that is perfect with the, you know, the one that I said, oh, was very, very tranquil and very relaxing. That goes absolutely perfectly with that. All the creams have been very, very popular indeed. Uh, everything is extremely popular, but the creams, it keeps changing. Uh, the creams, the real dark, dramatic black backgrounds, very, very popular. But I must say those creams and pinks, let me just show you next to this one. These three together would look lovely, wouldn't they? Little peek, that one, very, very similar indeed. I love it. All on the website, all on the website. Now, these are completely different. This is what I love about collections like this, is that they all work together so well, but yet I would never think of putting this one. This I see as more contemporary and more modern. You've got all of these little square dots. Look at that, um, is H-I-Y-V-62. See what I mean? That is so lovely, isn't it? And the detail, it almost has like a, it almost feels three dimensional. This feels really modern and contemporary. I love that. It almost looks like it's been woven. I really, it reminds Hannah of lots of collections that the Quilter, Quilters Guild has created in the past. It's beautiful. It almost looks like it's woven, doesn't it, from there? Really cool. Uh, we've got it in black and we've also got it in cream. This is the black. Completely different when you don't see it really up close. Oops, I'd like that as a binding. Oh, that would be really, really nice as a binding. Just to be able to see those nice little, little dot, little square dots. We've also got it in cream. Folding's really confusing me today. These are all folded, like, strange. I'm trying to just follow the lines. <laughs> I'm in a moaning mini mode today, aren't I? I'm ever so sorry. I don't mean to be. Um, this one is 42, got it. I was moaning and you sorted it out. Lovely again, that looks great with um, with any of your cream fabrics that you managed to get from the collection. It's reds in there as well, maybe doing the classic reds and creams or Christmas quilts if you manage to get any of the lovely Christmas projects. There's nothing wrong with taking the fabric out of this collection and thinking of it as Christmas. Oh, please do send in your photographs of what you are 
what you make with this. 749 and a half meter. We've also got two more. We saw the vines earlier on. We've now got them in brown and in black. So you've got how many graphic you left? <laughs> this is 36. This is X, Y, Y, X, R, Y. Mm, you, you got it. <laughs> Thank you. Also, streams seem to be struggling to say letters. 749. With your mocha. This is your ash leaves on mocha. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Hannah just said, Ashley, in my, um, like, Fred of Coronation Street. You must have seen it. It was years ago. What was his name? The Butcher. Fred. Fred what? What was his last name? Fred and Audrey, wasn't it? I can't remember. No. Cats go, no. 7.49. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> How do, um, <laughs> so Kat was watching the most shocking moments of Coronation Street on the telly the other day. No, I don't remember that. I don't watch, I must say, I don't watch Coronation Street, but I, I do like the classic ones. MBYV23. I have heard that they've bought it back now with the social distancing. Oh, this has got gold. See, this is completely different to any of those. You've got lovely gold leaves. That is really nice, a dark background, lovely gold leaves. Oh, not with, did you wasn't with Fred then? Just 7.49, a half meter. Your wildflowers, can we have a look at this closer? Because it's hard for you to see. It makes my eyes go a bit funny sometimes when you see it from a distance like that. But you can see that all of these lovely sort of ash flowers with the nice little dots of gold. It's not a metallic gold. Um, it is just a gold colour. It's going to go beautifully with loads of the fabrics we've got. So the mega bundle. The mega bundle. There's so many of you who have already uh, spotted that we've done the complimentary bundle with it as well. So if you haven't yet checked out on the mega bundle, how many of these are there? How many mega bundles are left, Han? Two! Two mega bundles left. Two mega bundles left. Remember, you're getting 24 half meters. 24 half meters, pre cut, ready to go. You've also got your, um, I'm trying to do it all in order, but I'll just show you all of these beautiful prints. There's only three left. They're all going to go. Some of my favourites. You've got these great darker prints, the reds, your mocha. This is the whole collection. So if there's something that you want by the half metre or if you want extra of, there's still a chance by the half metre. But the mega bundle now is extremely, extremely limited. The majority of the fabrics on their own, a third of the stock have all gone. Uh, every single one of them has been incredibly popular. So it's just a matter of which one do you want? If you can't decide, why not go for the whole shebang? £164.78. Very, very limited though on that mega bundle. It will sell out today and I don't know how easy it is to be able to put together another mega bundle. There's a lot of fabric, isn't there? I'm still going. There's loads of fabric here. Your stripes, don't forget. They're beautiful. There you go. One more. Da, 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 da. 24 half meter pre cuts. So many. All for 164.89. It means that you get a meter for free. You're saving £15 if you do choose to go for the whole mega bundle, which is brilliant, isn't it? Now, the complimentary bundle. I'm going to shimmy this to the side so you can see how perfectly these all complement. I started the show earlier on by talking about how these are always on our website. Quite often, though, it's hard to pick out what colours are going to complement certain fabrics best. Our team have done it for you. You've got all of these colours which go so well with your Wildflower Woods uh, collection. So you get half a metre of black. Half a metre of brunette, 
half a meter of um i want to tell you the exact name of it just in case you want multiple of one color do you know what i mean so that's black brunette this one's called claret on the website so if you do want more claret then you can mix that in with some of these as well it goes perfectly with it your next one is called tan you're getting half a meter of tan in the bundle peach half a meter of peach and cream and they go absolutely beautifully if you want that whole mega bundle that's three meters of fabric for less than 20 pounds you could make amazing quilt and cushions to match with this that'd be so good so black and cream on their own black and cream individually if you want cream on its own half a meter looks like this and it's going to go perfectly with every single one of those fabrics. This is why we were talking about it right at the start of the show. £3.49. I know that it, you know, the screen is just going to look like a cream, cream square. But very, very useful indeed. Very, very useful, especially when you're pairing it with some of the new Wildflower collection. It's going to look great. As is the black. Again, just £3.49 and a half metre. It means it's going to take your collection a bit further, isn't it? It's going to make it go a long way. And don't get me wrong, you might not have large pieces of this in it, but even just if you're doing, say, half of your half square triangles or, or I, I don't know, any of your um, smaller blocks, just with hints of, of your solids, it's going to make your fabrics, your designer fabrics, sing a bit more, isn't it? The black is just £3.49 and a half metre. Ideal just for your stash. Just a quick reminder that all of the solid fabrics are available on the web shop. So we also talked about at the start of the show, which I think would go perfectly with this collection, was your pre-shrunk calico. Now, it's so much softer than calico that I've seen in the past. It is something that you could use for rag doll making. Wouldn't normally say that with calico, but with the pre-shrunk quilters calico, it's ever so soft, it's beautiful. You could make a really classic rag doll with, um, you know, with clothes as well to go with from the from the vintage collection, from the uh, the wildflower collection. That'd be beautiful. It would go in perfectly with the uh, with the wildflower collection, actually. Just two forty nine and a half meter. Another great way of just getting loads in your stash. This is extra wide as well, by the way. So that's a lot of a, a lot of calico for two forty nine, isn't it? There you go. Really, really, uh, well, really wide. Uh, just so you know, somebody else just checked out on the Mega Bundle. Well done if you got it. Brand new today. I know how difficult it is to get here in the UK. So it's absolutely worth if you do want the whole collection. I don't know how hard it's going to be for us to be able to, to recreate that Mega Bundle. Depends by, you know, how popular they are by the half metre. There's loads of you checking out. Now, if we want some inspiration, if you are thinking of some big block quilts, there's some of these fabrics, especially some of these larger print fabrics, which I think are going to be perfect for this, because it really shows off those designs. It really shows off all of those different prints. So you've got 10 different projects in here, all with great impact. See what I mean? Like that would work so, so well with some of your larger scale prints. And what I love about Annie's quilting is the value for money is fantastic and the, the, the instructions are incredibly clear. Monkey business. How different would that look using the, the Wildflower collection? This one would look beautiful. You're almost like framing it and because you've got the black, you could almost, you know, do something very similar to that. Nice. We buy a half a metre or a few metres of the uh, few units of the black. Beautiful. That's your Pebble Beach. Using this for a plique, that's a good idea because you can still use some of your, you know, larger scale prints for, for other things or make complementing cushions, but you can create your own applique. So this is a great book if you do want a bit of inspiration. I think it works very, very well. It's going to look completely different. You know, this sort of tone, all blues and, and white, it's going to look completely different when you add warm colours into there. Oil available for just £8.99. Your price per project 
is just pence. And at the back, I do like that uh, Annie's Quilting Books always give you a bit of a, a binding demo as well, how to link your, your binding, how to tuck it in, which we, which we will actually be having a look at in the next hour with Jules coming up very, very soon. Well done to everybody. Spend the next few minutes just having a sift through the web shop, checking out as soon as you can on any of the fabrics that you've seen. This is the bag that we're making next. It's quilt as you go, can you believe it? I don't think I've ever seen a quilt as you go bag before. I think it's gonna really sort of demystify it for us. Those of you that have never done quilting before, or haven't done bag making, we're gonna completely demystify it with Jules. Uh, it's beautiful, and have you spotted the fabric? This fabric came in and left the building in one day. We've saved enough for this project. Do not go anywhere, we're gonna bring it in with Jules in just a few minutes. Check out your baskets and I'll see you after this. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colors that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits. Feeling good, it's about looking great. Making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside. And it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello, my name is Sally Stevens. I'm from Worcestershire, a little town called Upton upon Severn, which is a lovely little riverside town. And not far from there, I also have a little sewing studio, so I can work and leave all my mess left out um, when I'm preparing projects and quilts and so on. My speciality is, in fact, quilting, patchwork and quilting, and I probably started that when I was about 14 years ago. So as I often joke, that was only seven years ago. In fact, it was rather a lot longer, but I've always enjoyed crafting and patchwork really hooked me and I love it. So now then, what can I tell you? Some, something you may not realise about me is that although lots of you have seen me many, many times on, um, on sewing TV and classes, because I, I teach as well, um, I also do a lot of unpicking. So don't be afraid ever. If you have to unpick things, so do we. It's not a problem. We all have to start somewhere 
And sometimes you get a bit cocky and think, oh, I can just do that without pinning or without this. And then you think, ah, I should have paid attention to my own words. So some sewing tips for you. That's one. Keep a, a seam ripper handy. That will always be your friend. And um, another one that I think is very important, whether you're a, a beginner or more experienced, when you're sewing something, particularly for the first time, a new technique, slow down. There's no rush. It's not a race. Have a little practice with spare fabrics if you've got them before you use your best fabric that you've just purchased so that you get your techniques just right. But also slow down, take your time, watch what you're doing, think about what you're doing and read the instructions. That's always very useful. So what can I say? I've been asked to say what my claim to fame might be. And I would have to say, in all honesty, being on Sewing Street. Ah, oh, welcome back, welcome back. We've got Jules with us this hour again, doing something I've never actually seen before. It's the first time I've done a quilt as you go bag, so very excited to get all of the hints and tips. If you've done a quilt as you go bag, do a quilt as you go a tote bag, maybe. Not one like this. This looks really fancy. I love this bag. We'll talk about it in just a second. First of all, though, early bird special today. We start the day every morning, 8 a.m., with the early bird. Those of you that are new to us, oh, whatever you do, set your alarm bright and early, even if it's just to see what the early bird special is, because we discount a product. Sometimes it's a new product. Sometimes it's one that you love or one that we love. Um, it's always very, very very good to start the sh start the day with a positive, isn't it? We um, make sure we get up out of bed on the right side by bringing you an early bird special in the morning. Four pound saving on today's, and it's a really lovely little novelty um, pin cushion, so you can keep all of your nice long pins. The bottom of the ironing board as well is a nice cushioned uh, cushioned surface, so you can uh, put any of your pins around the bottom as well. I just love the detail, that's so pretty. And you've got all of this lovely Notion fabric. If you're after a gift for somebody, maybe, uh, it's normally four pounds more, it's normally four pounds more. It's just eight pounds 99. Oh look, subliminal or what? <laughs> There's one sitting on our uh, on our shelf. It was literally just, just there, did you put it there? I haven't seen that here, oh nice. I didn't know we had one of our own here, it's lovely. Just eight pounds 99, which is a great price, isn't it? For uh, something that's a bit more specialized, a gift for us, a bit of a nod to our craft. So just eight pounds 99, I just wanted to remind you about today's early bird. Now, as I say, quilt as you go. June Taylor, they put together fantastic quilt as you go uh, kits. The finished bag looks like this. We've got two different bundles, but we've also got the quilt as you go on your own. Now, we'll have a real good look round with Jules as well. What I love about it is the attention to detail with these elasticated buttons because it's a huge bag. Absolutely huge. You could get, I mean, you could use this as like your craft bag that you get your rulers in, you can get all sorts. Well, I tell you what, if anybody looks at the state of my bag, I I've got everything but the kitchen sink in mine. I cram everything in there. But what I love about this is, is the size of it, that nice big boxy bottom, a chance to showcase some of your favourite fabrics. So we've got some great bundles put together, but we are also offering for a limited number of you, a chance to use your own fabric at home if you've got some of your favourites, if you want it on its own. Brilliant price. When I say limited, um, there's only 15 of you that can get this. 15 outside of bundles. I'm so sorry. We had to make sure that there were enough in the bundles, but we listen to you. I know a lot of people that say that they want their quilt as you go or that the pattern's all on their own. So you get your quilt as you go. Only 15 of you. I'm prolonging putting the graphics in because we want to make sure everybody's ready and have a fair chance of it. So you get basically your, your uh, polyester wadding. You get that batting. Um, and it's like colouring in by numbers with fabric. We'll go through it with jewels, but don't be daunted by it. Even if you've never done patchwork before or quilting before, this is a great place to start. So the way to get this is searching it on the web. I don't even know if we've got, we haven't got the actual um, the graphics. So. Only 15 of these. If you go onto the web shop, we type in the code, which is B for Bravo, W. <laughs> I don't know my phonetic alphabet. B for Bravo, W for um, Whiskey. Y for Yankee. 
V for Victoria. There you go. It's there. 42. 42 is there. So that is your quilt as you go. If you search quilt as you go, you will be able to find it. £23.99. There is only 15. They haven't even made a graphic for us. There's fi only 15, that's why. Because there's only 15. If you want it on its own, if you want to use your own fabrics from home, that is your chance. If you do want it in a bundle with beautiful fabrics. Shall we just do it? Because we started with this at the start of the show. And there were, well, when we launched this fabric, it sold out that day in a heartbeat. This is called Wildflower as well. So, so many flowers today. This is beautiful though. If you know, you know, just check out. You get half a meter of each of these fabrics and they're beautiful. It was on the same day that I was on with Kerry from Living in Loveliness and she was well and truly eyeing up these fabrics. Like, oh my word, where have you got these? I love them. So, you get these kits. So, in the quilt as you go, you get your wadding, you get your batting, which has got all of your lines on there, ready to go, like colouring in by numbers, as I say. You're also going to get in here your webbing for your strap, which is up to you whether you want to cover with your fabric like we've done today, and you also get some of your cord, your elastic, with your buttons. So that's all included in your June Taylor pack. You're then getting, for $49.99, all of these fabrics. You're getting a metre of your uh, coordinating uh, cadet blue, half a metre of all of your lovely flowers from the wild flower range. The bees, oh, they're not available individually. They're not available on their own by the half metre. There's, in fact, do you know what? Hannah's been searching. She says, there is this one. There's four metres of this left. The white floral, and that's it. The rest are sold out. They're all in this bundle. So we did save some of these, uh, especially for this product. It's the first project that we've seen using this fabric, and it's gorgeous. We can't get any more. Can't get any more. It's been one of the most popular fabrics we've had since the launch of Sewing Street. We love it. $49.99. Your kit is available with, of course, don't forget, you get your quilt as you go, and all your fabric, enough to make your bag, with some bits left over as well. If you're making a bag, normally, think about it, you would normally have to buy your pattern, your interfacing. If you were going to, uh, you know, use wadding, then you'd have to buy your wadding and then your fabrics for it. This combines in your pattern as well and you do your lining all together. It's, it, it's brilliant. And you're getting your strap in there. There's so much for your money at £49.99, especially with these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. So keep that one in mind. That's the one that Jules has already made the bag out of and it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It does look great. Okay, the last option, the other option, has got some lovely solids. Uh, so, oh, once again, you get your uh, June Taylor quilt as you go which includes your strap and your elastic and everything that you need. It comes with instructions, but don't forget, as an added add-on, uh, you can watch back today's show on YouTube when you get your kit home, so you can have all of Jules's hints and tips along the way. This is beautiful. It's got a lovely, like, metallic gold print. It's so pretty. Half a metre of this, half a metre of pink, half a metre of peacock, and then you also get a metre and a half of white, a metre and a half of white for your lining. They're so beautiful, all of your lovely solids, plus then your metallics for $44.99. One less fabric, but you're getting a metre and a half of your white instead. Plus, don't forget, you're getting your quilt as you go. Amazing! Very, very excited about this. We will talk about other little bits and bobs that you might want to add in as we go along with Jules. Here, by the way, those of you that haven't yet checked out before, if you've never shopped with us before, as we get Jules on, this is just a quick reminder of how you shop with us. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket.
Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Well done, everyone that's got the quilt as you go on its own, by the way, because it's officially sold out. Oh, yeah. do you know what? That's an excellent price. I've seen it recently, and that is a good price. Say no more. Say no more. Well done if you managed to get it. If you want it, it's in the bundles. It's at the same price point, but it's now with fabrics as well. And how gorgeous are these fabrics? I know. I just fell in love with it. I love bees, and hexagons are my kind of EPP thing. So, yeah. yeah oh, you, thought, do, you do a bit of everything, oh, don't yeah. you, Jules? Dabble. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I thought, oh, I love this. And the, the most challenging part, I think, is just deciding where you want to put the fabric. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Which yeah. is brilliant. For anybody who's not a bag maker or not a quilter, I think these these kits, the quilters you go kits from Jean Teller, are really good. So a good, good place to start, aren't yeah. they? And you can take it as far or as not far as you want, okay. really. So if you wanted to, you could put an extra pocket on there. You could do a bit of free motion on there. Brilliant. You could, you know, do all sorts. If you just want to do... As it says on the tin, you can. Fantastic. So it's all good. So it yeah. still has scope to sort of play around with and yeah. make your own. But it's a lovely size bag. It's got yeah. a big boxy bottom, Definitely hasn't it? Definitely a big pizza goes in oh, there. Oh, oh, yes. A few bottles of the old What's It go yeah. in there as well. So, yeah. Really good Absolutely. size. Absolutely. Yeah. It's really good size. So I know that we've got lots of bits that we want to show and we want to try and get as yeah. much demo in as possible. So I'll let you take over. So this is what the, the batting, so, yeah. the wadding It looks comes like. out like this. I think probably it goes upside down. So I do apologise because I've, I've no, done you, a bit that's on this. Correct. So is that okay? So um, what you've got, every piece is numbered. Uh, this is insulated batting so you just need to be a bit what aware does that mean? it's got metal in it um and it holds it's a magic it holds, <laughs> holds heat or the heat cold or cool so yeah. if you have got any of your bottles of prosecco in there it's yeah. gonna keep them cool yeah i wouldn't like you know drink responsibly a lot <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it, it's good um so if you have this in the boot of your car if you're going shopping and you buy a load of fr frozen stuff yeah good to yeah. go um so yeah just be a little bit aware of that and um, don't put your iron directly on it because oh, right. yeah. it won't like it. But if you want to iron through, uh, then that's absolutely fine. Right. So you get that, which is all printed. And they're all numbered quite clearly, aren't yes, they? You can't quite very see on the screen, numbered. but you can definitely see all the numbers. Yeah, most definitely. And you've got lots of different lines on here. Just to be aware, these are your placement lines. Not your sewing lines. Not your sewing lines. So um, it's all designed to keep you straight and narrow. Really? Do you get any instructions with it? You do. Um, so that at the beginning, when you open it, you think, oh, I've just got that. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. But you haven't. So oh. inside your packet. That's what I always worry a about. Okay. Set of instructions. Um, and it's very clear on here how much fabric you need. Obviously, we've got quite, yeah. we have got more than enough. I'll show you in a second. Um, what other supplies you might need. Uh, the three buttons are optional. These were what I had in my stash at home. Oh, so nice. you don't necessarily have to have it as a closed up if you if you don't want it, but it actually is quite handy, I think. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then the cutting, it tells you, so cutting pieces one to nine will be five inch squares. Okay. So what I was saying before about um, deciding which your fabric should be, because you're making some precise amounts of cutting, mm -hmm. um, you need to just think it through beforehand. So you might be able to see on mine, little pencil marks. When I was looking at this, I decided that I would have the darker blue at the bottom because I thought it's standing on it. So I want something at the bottom. Um, I like the B one, so I wanted that kind of fairly central. And if you look at your photograph as well, um, then you can sort of gauge where you want to put everything else. So what I did first of all is I went through, decided which fabric I wanted where, then looked at which pieces were which length 
and I made myself another little list. Okay, so make yourself, get yourself a bit, bit organised. Yeah. No, that's um, good, yeah. Only because your fabric, um, some of the pieces are 40 and a half inches long, so it's, that's going to be your width of fabric, which you have sufficient in what you've got. But if you start cutting it up, then you're not going to have enough. Exactly, so cut, you. cut your long pieces first, yes. and then do your squares afterwards. And um, I decided, I changed my mind what I wanted to do with the handles, so I've actually... I cut into the pink mm -hmm. um, on my demo kit, but you've still got, look, quite oh, a lot nice. of material left. So I used um, the spot for my binding around the top, so this, and I used the white for the handles and the inside. So you do have And that's sufficient. your leftover. This is my leftover. Brilliant. So I'll be very happy with that. I'm I making know. some extra I things. Say, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like a treat. I like, I like kits that sort of cut everything for you. Think you've got everything there to size, but then it's a nice little treat when you have some leftover. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Um, so I, I have cut, pre-cut all of my pieces because I thought, well, fantastic. It yeah. does take a little while. And the other thing that I do, you might have seen me do this before. I put a little note as to what they are Good and I idea. think again just to get yourself organized and make sure that you don't skip a step although you know to be honest if you hadn't done that it tells you what you're going to do okay. on the batting. I quite like to do my cutting say the day before or something anyway yeah so do myself a bit of a production line and and do it in the quiet you know when you haven't yeah. got the kids saying mom yeah can I have my tea um so <laughs> <laughs> what other things that they say they'll be watching won't they <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Sorry, girls. <laughs> um, the other thing that you get is a uh, oh, it comes with it. Yes, in the bottom. So it's like a mylar. It is cuttable. I would use a Stanley knife or some such thing. Don't use your rotary cutter and be careful which scissors you use if you're going to do that. I found that I did have to trim off probably about three quarters of an inch, mm -hmm. um, just because obviously you're sewing in the bulk takes it up a little bit. So you do get that. Stanley knives. Have we got a Fiskars one on the website? Fiskars Stanley knife. Stanley knife. They're normally for leather, I think we use them. Yeah, I'm sure you have. I'm yeah. sure I've seen them before. So, Brilliant. Yeah. Thank okay. you. It tends to have one in the toolbox or just yeah, have it at home. They'll for be somewhere. Things. Yeah. And for a change, you can read husband's toolbox, yeah, that's can't it. you? <laughs> How unusual is that? <laughs> So your prep for this is, uh, and obviously I'm doing it on a half, first of all, because it's easier to get it on the bench, and second of all, because I've pre-prepped some of the other, but obviously you'll have the whole piece. Right. Um, the first thing it um, advises you to do is to cut around with about an inch gap all the way around the back, uh, and then fix it onto the batting and you use the um, quilting spray or right. you can use 505 if mm -hmm. you haven't got it. If you use 505 it sticks pretty quickly. Yeah. If you use the um, quilting spray it doesn't so what you do is you turn it over. Oh what's the difference because I always thought they were the same equivalent thing really. Well they five are. The they are spray. but you just need to heat this a little bit and it gives the glue the stickiness. Okay. That's what I found. I right. don't know if anybody no, else has good. had any Thank other you. experiences with it. I like um, to heat your personal experience with them because I've always sort of said, or in a shop, you just say that one basting spray, basting spray, you just think it's different Yeah, and, and they do essentially do that. the same thing. Yeah. But with this one, you just have a little bit of extra kind of heat. But again, be very careful because this is affected by it. So give it a good old shake right. and then a quick splurge and spray and then the thing that I found about it not sticking straight away is you can get it flat nice so she's got a mindset for the ease of us quilters as June <laughs> like I know her <laughs> <laughs> she's, oh, June. she's my friend <laughs> so let's just give it a little bit of a so just a reminder, Quick press it from off. your fabric side. Fabric side, very With lightly. You. I mean, literally, you're just like gliding Glide it across. It. You're not pressing down as a pressing press, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes, Julie, we know what you mean. That might be good if you're a bit nervous with yeah. using the spray, actually, the 505. It's going to, if you're scared that it's going to, you know, activate really quickly, then this is quite good that you've... Yeah, got the you, of wiggle got, room. You have definitely. You've got a little bit of wiggle room. So we've gone upside down now. Um, and what you would have done 
is you would have cut... Oh, Sorry, you got the big pieces. I don't want those ones. I've got another set here. Uh, what you would have done is cut approximately that much. So about... If you're wanting to do things like your free motion and extra quilting, is this where it's good to give yourself a bit more around the edge yes, for a movement? Yes, it is. And also, if you're not sure what's actually going to happen, if this is the first time... I know you, you, know, you read all the instructions through, don't you? Yes. Before you start, yeah. yes. <laughs> or sometimes you just jump straight in. Um, and so if you haven't kind of quite read it, then it's just nice to have a little bit of leeway, really. And you see, I'm not being too neat or particular. Right. What I would say is if you want to use this fabric, you can be a bit neater than this because you will get quite a chunk left over. Nice. I'm hacking that. And the other thing as well, Frugal to the last, that should be my name. All of this, you can use all of this. Oh, so keep hold of that interface, yeah. keep hold of the uh, the batting, because that's useful still for like nice little cafetiere cosies to keep well, your coffee warm, yeah, or mug rugs. A, yeah, done a couple of things with that. But good idea. Um you can also join your batting, which if we've got chance, yeah. I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Hello, Rachel, by the way. Hi, Rachel. She says, I'm not a quilter, but this makes me want to be one. Yeah, do it, Rachel, <laughs> do it. Because, seriously, it's it's not um, rocket science. Oh, you'll love it. I might, <laughs> I might make there. it look like rocket science. <laughs> ah, well, uh, I, like, I, I do like how it's really sort of broken down into sections. I was talking to you earlier on about foundation paper piecing, and it's... It reminds me of that in a way as yes, well, that you're covering the spaces with your fabric. Yeah, very much like that. It is very much... Um, getting organised and putting things yeah. on the right way. Uh, so, we're ready to go. Piece one is your first piece that you put on. You don't sew that just yet. So what you'll do is you'll pin it onto square number one. Okay. So I'll just take Is it two. covering the complete it square? It covers the complete and square. And goes over your lines or is it sitting no, in the line? No, it sits in the lines. Perfect. Because what we're talking about now are placement lines, yeah. not sewing lines. It's very tempting to think everything that's printed on a pattern is a sewing line, it's yeah. not. So number one is under there. And what we'll then do is take number two. Now if your fabric is directional or you've got a right and a wrong side, this is where you need to make sure you're putting right sides together. And this is the top of your bag. So if it's directional, for example, I wanted the bees flying upwards, mm -hmm. I had my bees going that way. Right. And what you will do, so this is number two, Number three is in the same position on the opposite side, which I'll skip just because I've prepped. Yeah. So what you need to make sure is that number two faces that away, number three faces that away. So just think what you're doing when you're doing it, really. Um, all the seams are quarter of an inch. So what you'll do here is you've got, I'm lining the pink along the blue line. Yeah. So. I'm not interested where that under fabric is. Um, I'm only interested in and where this pink is going line. to be. And once you've done that, just put a couple of little pins in it. All the way through. Into all the way through. I like the fact that you're doing right your line and everything at the same time. Yeah. Don't Amazing. need to worry about all this bagging out and yeah. No, no, none of that malarkey. You're just going straight through. Great. Um, what I didn't do, uh, again, because of all the pre-prepping, you will have sewn all the way around the outside line. So what I mean is you will sew along this line now. So if we do a little bit of sewing on it, um, just, I would say just a hair's breadth, eighth of an inch possibly in between, uh, onto the inside of the line. And the reason for that becomes apparent later on when you have to cut your bag to size, because mm -hmm. what will happen is you won't be able to see that blue placement line because you'll have placed all your fabrics on it. Right. And some of the long strip fabrics are slightly bigger yeah. than the, um, the, the line itself, the placement itself. And that is to allow for creeping. Um, the other thing that you'll notice is I haven't starched any of mine. I haven't best pressed it because I've pre-done pre that at home. But, but you if would. you're, yeah. 
because these lines are straight. If you have cut your fabric on the bias, mm -hmm. then um, it could twist a little bit. So you want them a bit stiffer. Uh, so best press them, iron it, let them dry. Oh, it doesn't take a minute, does it? Brilliant, um, no. So I think you've got that back in stock. There's the best press. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I found that really funny. Look. Oh. <laughs> Hello, like best press. <laughs> so you're going to get the hook and pull me off. <laughs> Mind me of, I watched the other day, and I've not seen it before, The Truman Show. Oh. Have you watched that? No. Oh, my gosh. It's made me really... The film? Yeah. Okay. You've seen it? Is that Jim Carrey? Yeah. Oh, I love him. Oh, it's him. so strange, though, when they're, like, just advertising everything as they go. Like, <laughs> Did it make you think, I'm glad I'm not on one of those American programmes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you think, oh my word, maybe this is my life. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop doing that now because that's Do you need boring. to alter your stitch um, lengths when you're going through all those layers or anything? Is it all alright? Depends right? what your machine does. Okay. Uh, two and a half, three is yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. It depends. It really does depend on what You haven't got a walking like. foot on it. You know, no. it's, and it's managing absolutely fine. Yeah, didn't use a walking foot at all. Um, I used a quarter of an inch foot. I thought that was very useful. Um, or if you haven't got a quarter of an inch foot, as we said before, use a guide. Okay. That's fine. Um, I might have that over here. Otherwise, <laughs> your lady will be going, get the pins off the floor. <laughs> so this is the first piece down. Are you going to sew over, carry on into the next box, as, as you will? Where are you stopping? I'm stopping on the line. Okay. Yeah. Because it's not sewing, it's a uh, placement. It? Placement. So, depending on what machine you've got, again, if you've got a table, I had my little um, extension table on, and I didn't have to keep taking on and off. Brilliant. So it just depends on what you do, but it doesn't matter. Get your, this is my favourite. Roll tool. and press. Roll so and you're press. not you're not having to uh, press between each no. seam. No, and actually, and you wouldn't. I don't want to press this way because if I went over onto that, I might mess it up. So. Just a oops, little doodad. And then you'll do number three. Uh, and now I've got number four to come onto here. So again, not really interested where this pink is. Try and keep it along the top and bottom lines. But if it goes over or whatever, well, that's what it is. Because I'm interested in the next piece along now. Right. So I've got number four. And... Right sides together. Right sides together, directional if it is up the top there. It's quite, quite like this bundle, I must say. If you've never done it before, then it eliminates that thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It, it's a good one to... The, the sewing itself isn't actually that tricky. So if you do want to have a go at working with directions, then the other bundle might be good for you. But this one, if you're thinking, right, all I need to think of is, you know, my right sides together and not worried about directional prints. Yeah. The colours look lovely together as well. Yeah. I think what I like about this one, um, although you've got solids, it's nice and fresh. Yeah. And this one, you know, we were saying you could do your free motion and Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. You can do a plique, you can use your variegated, all sorts of stuff. Um, and it will look really nice. And you notice I'm only using two pins. I don't feel that I need to use any more than that. In fact, I might go a bit rogue and not use any pins. Right. Um, so again, you're repeating this process. So, and to be honest, I'm not worried if I've just smidged a bit just gone slightly under well that's still about on my placement line i'm going to put another piece on here so i've got another quarter of an inch seam so everything Ooh, just gets actually. incorporated so it is really forgiving is what you would say um so once you've done all of this we'll just do one more piece oh actually i've got we'll two. do the other two we'll yeah. do the other two because i can show you at the top because you you might think oh hang on that's not quite what i was expecting uh, but don't worry, trust in the trust in the force. And even though you're <laughs> saying this has got like a, a metal running through, your machine it's absolutely oh, fine yeah. running with your machine. Yeah. It's not a metal that's going to affect your machine. No, not at all. It's not a solid metal. It's not like going... In fact, you'd probably have more wear on your machine going through a plastic zip end yeah. than you would on this, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just 
a very, very thin layer. I'm not really sure what it is, actually. Um, it looks sort of almost is like... Is it aluminium? aluminium? It might be. They put through it, it might be aluminium. It looks almost like... Um, what's that puffy stuff that you get in packaging? Those, you know what I mean? Those little noodly things that you get in packaging. Mm -hmm. It looks like that kind of uh, yeah. open texture, polystyrene stuff. Yeah. But no, it doesn't um, do anything to your needle. It's all fine. So you shouldn't have any worry with it at all. I didn't have any worry with it. And I, my machine's not as fancy as um, this <laughs> excellence you've got here. No, you were very impressed with the, the thread cutter this uh, yes. morning, weren't you? <laughs> yes, that's my ambition, is to have a machine with a thread cutter. <laughs> oh, simple things of life. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was all the little same. Little things. <laughs> yeah. Please, little me. <laughs> so, and what you'll see on, um, and you see I started there a little bit off, It's it doesn't matter, you can almost chuck yourself at it you know and it'll it'll work for you so please if if you've not tried this before have the confidence give oh, it I a love whirl because it looks so impressive when it's done yeah. doesn't it and you're yeah. literally just I mean, following that looks like your lines. I've done so much patchwork and yeah. all yeah no nah. it's not brilliant I mean, it does take a little while because yeah. there's lots of sewing to do but it's not you know so here at the top if I just let you look this square it's same overlapped. size as all the others but it has overlapped don't right. worry about that at all uh, what will happen later on is you'll sew all the way around it if you want to just put a tacking stitch in there fine uh, i just pinned it it's okay. fine because i just wanted it to stay where it was put so the next thing that you'll do is you'll do so that was nine so i'll do my number 10 which is this one here now i have strapped up my um uh my work just so that it kept out of the way um ideally you wouldn't do it this way simply because as you've seen here one piece follows on the other so you've not had to worry about turning things under and making it right or wrong sides together okay. um but here this is going to be slightly different because I, I will need You've to kind of to tuck head. it yeah, under. It. Um, so forgive me because it won't be as easy as the others. And I, I don't want to make you feel that it's hard. It's not hard at all. It's just the fact that we've skipped on. So I'll pull that. Don't want to reveal too soon. <laughs> no, 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 you're not looking. Uh, so now what we've got is I've got all of my pieces here. So up to here, you can see that I've actually sewn it under. And here we go, we've, we've got the free piece. So what you would do now is right sides together. So this is piece 10. Okay. Right sides together on my placement line, just as I've done before. Yeah. You might want to put a few pins in. Yeah, it's slightly longer, isn't it? It is. And I've put them in not where I'm going to sew. Oh, that's handy. So you don't need to worry about taking your pins yep. out. Or running them over or anything like that. Because you might break a needle if you if you did that. That's not good practice. She says like a school mom. <laughs> uh, and then you will just simply repeat what you've been doing all the way along. So I'm going to start it just to give myself, when I need to make this up again, uh, a bit of leeway. I'm going to start it here because it is flat here. So again, quarter of an inch. And all the way along we go. And just as you're going along with the longer pieces, I found it was just easier to keep your fingernail on top of the piece. Mm -hmm just to make sure that you can still see the line and you're going at your quarter of an inch. And then that keeps your lines straight. So you can still kind of see your blue lines yeah. running through your placement lines. Yeah. So come up and you've got, I've got a little bit of creep on there. Don't worry, um, all the pieces are, 
long enough for you to have ha to not be worried whether you've got a bit of creep or not on it. Um, what I wouldn't do when you're doing quilting, you quilt from the middle outwards. So with your um, uh, first lot one to nine, that's what you're actually doing. And then when you've got your long pieces, I would suggest you deciding which end you want to start at and go down. OK. Um, rather than go from the middle and out and then from the opposite end and in, because you will end up with a ruckle on the first piece if you're not careful. I like that word, ruckle. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. So, yeah, either pick from the outside in or the upside down, but don't, yeah, start in yeah, the middle. Yeah, don't mix and match on okay. that one. So, again... Just whip those pins out. Uh, and here, you can still use your little clover. I've gone a bit further over than I would have liked to, and that's because I'm halfway along. But it won't matter because the next piece will sit along that line. Um, I would hold this piece underneath just with intermittent pins just at the top and then place your next piece down. I like this little pin. Oh, thank you. Early birds. Oh, early birds. <laughs> this is a cute little pincushion, isn't it? Very handy. And then your next lot, just sew down and keep repeating right. to the edge. Yeah, okay. and it's all numbered. You do it literally in order. All numbered, in order. Um, finish the whole lot off. Your little pieces at the edges, so your 19, 20, 21. They're very slim, aren't they? Yeah. But it's still the same process to okay. the edge. And when you get to the very outside edges, it, um, it sits over, like this piece. It sits over the end. So you, um, you think, oh... I've not quite got my seams right, but you will have. Don't worry about it. They just give you an extra bit of wiggle room. Yeah. Um, Fab. We've got just over uh, 10 minutes, 15, 10 minutes or so. Okay. Okay. So finish all of that. And once you've finished all of that, you end up with that. <gasps> oh, <laughs> dun, 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 nice. The I big love reveal. this colourway. Doesn't it look nice? That looks it really, really nice. Pops. Um, so uh, with that, the next thing that I did, you, you remember I said um, you need to sew on this line here and the reason that you need to do that is because you will trim back to that line. But okay. if you haven't, you can't you see know where, where it is. You trim into, absolutely. Yeah. So um, it, brilliant instructions, it tells you all about it in here. There's literally, it will explain everything I've just explained in that amount. So you can see how complicated it's not. Right, I'm Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not uh, going to blow your mind or anything like that. Um, when you are cutting around, so I pink the edges, you can choose to pink the edges or you could overlock them if you wanted to. It's entirely your call or zigzag them if yeah. you wanted to. Um, I decided pinking the edges because I think the fabric is good enough to stand the pinking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's not a cheap fabric, so it won't fray all over the place. Pinking shears are on the website. Little purple one. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing that you need to do is to make sure that you've got everything sewn around the outside edge because this now becomes your new piece of fabric that you're going to create the bag out of. If I want to do some free motion or bits and bobs, do it at that now. point. Yeah, do okay. it now because everything is accounted for. You've got a little bit of room underneath there. Um, I mean, even if you don't want to do free motion, say you want it because you've got nice true lines, what you could do is pick one of your decorative stitches, maybe pick one of your swirls oh, or something lovely. and go along there. The other thing that I was saying is um, you could attach a pocket if you wanted to. Good idea. So you've got enough fabric. If you wanted to do that, you'd just take, so these are five inch squares, take a 10 inch oblong, fold it in half, right sides outwards top stitch along the top edge and then put it into this panel so if I was doing this piece here um, I would put my pocket in here I would flip it back over 
mm -hmm. sew the quarter of an inch seam and then flip it back out and that's my pocket oh yeah good idea does that make sense yeah absolutely so you we, can you can add i think we did yesterday um a, a demo on how to do like a patch pocket on the front of a bag you just mean as opposed to inside the bag in total yeah. so that's a good demo as well to watch back yeah brilliant so you can do that all right, so now this is the stage at which you add the handles. Right, so we're making Not now into a bag. <laughs> yes. Um, it so comes with some webbing, doesn't it? Your handles, yes. yeah. Webbing, and you will have cut two things you will have cut. You will have cut some material for your straps. So you've got four pieces there, um, and it will be 30 inches long. Um, and you will join two pieces together to make the strap length. I never think about covering the webbing, but actually, it's quite it's nice. nice. Yeah, because that sometimes you know I've got sunburn. Yeah, <laughs> and that scratches on your sunburn. But this wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> They're oh, yeah. lovely, and I think as well, it's it just adds more stability having the webbing inside it, especially if you're going to put you know a few bottles in there or pizza or whatever you're loading into your big bag. Yeah, you want to have nice extra strong candles, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and you'll also cut some binding. Right. Now, this, again, is not long enough for the binding, so you'll need to join it. You join the straps and you join the binding in exactly the same way. So if I just show you how you would join one of them, it doesn't really matter which. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen this before. This is a two and a half inch. Um, so to join it, you'll have your two pieces right sides together and you will not so you can see it you put the two pieces right side together and you make a square at the bottom end then you will draw across with a straight line that's, that's a bit big but you'll know what i mean you draw the diagonal corner to corner with an erasable pen. Can I get the corner? Oh, where's my corner? Yes, Julie, if you could see your corner, you'd be fine. <laughs> and you can put a pin in it if you want to, if you're not quite sure about it. And you will sew from corner to corner. So that is your sew line this time. Yes. Right? With you. Yep. And I'm going rogue. Not, not no gonna... pins. <laughs> what a rebel. And what I do, I do a lot of scrap busting as I go along. And especially when you've got something that's going to cut for you. Whilst I'm here, I will just go a quarter of an inch to the inside. This is just an extra. You don't do this for the pattern. It's fine. Just for your scrap busting. And if you cut between the two... What will happen then is you've got little half square triangles and you can just square that up and use it oh, as brilliant. and when. Yeah, nice. Uh, and then your binding is joined into a continuous strip. Um, and you'll then... I like that when you've got it on a diagonal as opposed to a straight line. You don't, your eyes aren't directly draw, drawn to that, are no. they? And also it reduces the bulk in what you're oh, okay. using. So it makes better sense doing that. So with both the straps and the binding, the first thing that you'll do is you'll press it in half. So if I, sorry, I'm getting a bit messy here, aren't I? No, not at all. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll try harder. <laughs> what's your, what's your organisation like at home with your sewing? Are you? Well, I'm a dining room table sewer. Yeah. So I'm organised in lots of, Bags and boxes, yeah. that's the thing to do. During lockdown, have you managed to get organised? Oh, yeah. I've so <laughs> many projects from yeah. sewing water. Uh, so many projects that yeah. I had half done or looked at, and you know, all of those. I'm a bit of a magpie. I managed to get loads of those done. Um, loads of bags, quilts. My daughter's going off to university. <gasps> Fingers crossed. Um, oh. So I managed to do her quilt. Um, oh, that's lovely. So it's, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people have had unfinished oh. projects that haven't been done so that we've managed to get, you know, completed. Exactly. And loads of people have taken up sewing. I look on the Facebook page and there's a lot, of, pretty much every day, there'll be somebody new yeah, joining lovely, going, I've it? never done this. And it's fantastic. I really like it when everybody's so supportive as yeah. well. I think that 
makes a big difference and it gives oh, people confidence, doesn't it, in, in what they're doing. We've got about five minutes. Okay, so you understand what I'm doing? Yeah, we're you'll just do, going along. You'll do exactly the same for the straps. Okay. So you'll sew them in half for the strap. This is the binding piece. Uh, the straps you will sew in half. Uh, no, you will press, press in, half in half once you've sewn them together. So you sew them exactly like that and then you press them in half. But here, you'll press them in half again. So what I mean by that is the first press is this way. So that's your first press. Your next press, so you open this out and you press to the middle. Ah, okay. So you've now got that going on. Mm -hmm. And it's at that stage, so imagine that is all pressed. You then open this out and you press down half an inch. Okay. Uh, and actually on your binding, you can do that as well. Press half an inch in. Then you take your strap, they're both cut to the same length. You will put your strap into your pressed binding. You'll then fold one piece over, fold the other piece over, and you can do this in stages if you want to, and then fold them together. Right. So you've now got everything All nice and enclosed. Yeah. And then what you'll do is you'll sew down the pleated edge. Oh, lovely. Okay, so you just will edge stitch this. And this is still all right without you walking foot? It's still going still through? Still all right without you. Because I'm just catching the edges. With you, yeah. Yeah. This would be nice in a nice contrasting thread, especially if you're doing the light straps, you could do, yep. yeah, gold metallic thread or one of the bright pinks. That's the sort of effect that you get if you were doing contrasting anything. Yeah, nice. Um, so once you've done that, uh, make sure both straps are the same length and then you will be fitting your strap on. So it, it gives you the exact measurements and the placement. The instructions, yeah, yeah. A placement of where to put it. What I did was I used my friction pen, I used a long ruler and a long ruler and a shorter ruler. I did 15, you want 15 inches down. So I had my 15 inches down and then you want seven and a half inches across. So I did my seven and a half inches across and it comes, sorry, let's do it the other way around seven and a half inches across. And where you have got the two, so 15 from the top, seven and a half across, it will be around about there, put a dot. And then you want an inch and a half for your strap. And that's your placement for your strap. Right. It's all explained on there, so Brilliant. don't worry about it. Um, then what you need to do is you need to, sorry, right. <laughs> you need to have your strap going outwards. Not twisted. Not <gasps> twisted. <sighs> Make sure you want it, you know which way you want it. Then you fold it backwards. This will be where you sew. So you sew across here to attach your straps and then you fold them back up again, because now you know that they were correct. You fold them back up again, and you stitch up the strap on each side to about three inches from the top. So don't stitch right to the top, because don't forget we've still got to put the binding on. So you stitch up, you do a cross at the bottom just to make sure really that it stays stable, <laughs> secure, um, and then Put both your straps on and that's that bit finished for the moment. Next thing you'll do is you'll construct the bag. And again, she talks you through it. Very clear. So when you're constructing the bag, you take both sides of the bag. You will sew down, because we will have trimmed this, you will sew down. Mm -hmm show you that side because that's probably easier. Sew down 
so that you're about a quarter of an inch from the pinked edge. Yeah. Both sides. And that will give you the bottom to square. So if you've done any bag making before, yeah, you'll know, know it. it. If you haven't, it looks peculiar. It's like a frog. <laughs> you have to open the open mouth. Open the mouth. So you've got the two outside edges. Sorry, this would be better if I just put a pin in there and you'll see what I'm talking about. So open the two outside edges, pull it straight, match your seam with the center, then sew a quarter of an inch across the bottom. Right. And what will happen then is you'll end up with this squared corner. Yeah, I do like these nice boxy Sorry. bottoms. Yeah. And it, you can see the width that that's giving yeah, you across it there. so much space. Yeah. And you just literally turn it back out. Final thing. Sorry, this is a bit... We needed another hour, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, is to put your binding on. Uh, now, I remember somebody saying about binding, not sure quite how to do the start and the end of a binding. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but you just have to think in advance. Decide where you want the join, the to, join be. to be. So you wouldn't want it plumb in the middle. Yeah. You might want it, say, over these two pieces form the side pieces. So you might want it in between those two pieces just to give you a reference point. Start off your binding, um, which you will tuck under. The reason you tuck this under, that is your finished edge. You don't have to do any more finishing. So that's your finished piece. So you will then line your top of your binding with the raw edge. You pin this all the way around. Don't stitch the first probably six inches. Right, leave a good tail. Yeah, and then stitch along your quarter of an inch to, to secure it onto the top of the bag. When you get to the other end, what you'll then do is you'll have, uh, you want to feed it in. So like just like, like we did the diagonal seams before and it's all sitting flat, that's what we want to do on this end. So what you'll then do is you'll cut off um, a diagonal. So I do it so I've got the extra at the top. Some people do it the other way up, but yeah, it does the job. Um, and what you're doing then is as you're coming up to the tail, you stitch, again stop a little bit short of the end, you feed the tail into the finished piece, I would then pin that back just to make sure nothing slips and stitch across the end there and then when you've turned it over you've got a nice neat finish oh, on the nice. other side and then turn it to the inside. I quite like to slip stitch them. The hand stitch. Yeah. Nice. Um, because I find that if I try to go on top of that I'll have a wobble. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a nice detail as well, yeah. isn't it, then, yeah. to sit and hand sew. Yeah. And then the final thing oh, that you need to do is just to make sure that um, your inner is cut to size. That's and it. That's it. Yeah. Brilliant. It's all in the instructions anyway. Absolutely. And everything is in there. Well done to everybody that's managed to get it. Thank you so, so much. It's been <laughs> really lovely being <laughs> here with you. Sorry we didn't quite make it, but it's... it's uh, no, I we, think you've we had enough. loads of content there. That was fantastic. Thank cool. you very much. When are you back on with us? Do you know? I'm not sure, actually. I haven't been given a date yet. Right, but, so we'll um, see you soon. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we will. Absolutely. We look forward to the next time. Thank you very, Thank very you. much. No, Thank you, Jules. Pleasure. Thanks, everyone. We're going to have a, a quick roundup of all of these kits in just a couple of minutes. So stay where you are. Uh, and then we've got so much coming up still for the last hour. So uh, this is just a quick reminder of how you shop. Right. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket.
Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. That was a great demo, wasn't it? Very, very clear. Very, very clear indeed. Um, obviously, the quilt as you go on its own, completely sold out. Well done if you managed to get that. If you do want the wildflower bundle, the one that Jules made the bag from, it's the most popular. We're on single figures for this now. You're getting half a metre of each of your pattern fabrics, which are beautiful. They're only available in this bundle now. They're only available. And then you get a metre also of Copen. Um, which is beautiful, it is a metre. So you get all of your, your fabrics, plus then you get your, of course, all important quilts as you go, so by numbers, and your webbing, and you then get your elastic. All of your instructions are in there as well. It's a great bag, isn't it? I love it. Remember, it's not just your normal bag with a normal batty, it's insulated as well, so it's great for carrying any of your lunch, anything to keep warm or anything to keep cool equally. So we love those, absolutely love them. Uh, this is the most popular kit, beautiful colours, the one that you saw Jules, um, well, the one that she made the bag out of before it was beautiful. And fabrics to play with, fabric left over, oops, sorry. We've also got another bundle which we have with our solids. This is the one that we were working with. And seeing this come together, it really worked well together, didn't it? Really worked well together. So this time, you get a metre and a half of white this time, and then you get half a metre of each of your other colours, which are beautiful. I love this metallic gold. That is so nice. Don't forget, you also get your strap, you get your elastic, you also do get your insulated shopping uh, bag wadding. So that's all in one big piece, ready to go, sewing by numbers, really quick and easy. Definitely jot down today's date because I think Jules gave us some brilliant top tips during that show. Um, fantastic, fantastic prices as well. I'll keep you updated on stock availability. Have a quick check out over the next couple of minutes and we're back. Haven't even mentioned yet. We've got adjuster forms back. I know the first time around that we bought them, they were so popular. So if you are on your just making journey and ready to invest in a form, you are gonna love the prices and, and all of the different features and functions. We'll talk through them right after this. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. 
Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi everyone, uh, my name's Faye and I'm going to be joining the Sewing Street team as one of their guest designers. Uh, I work as a professional dressmaker. You can see here you've caught me in the middle of making a petticoat for a wedding dress here in my workroom in North Yorkshire. Uh, I started off in fashion design, studied that at college and then I actually made the move into costume. So I've actually spent several years making costumes, uh, quite high-end costumes for both television and theatre. So hopefully with that professional experience, I'm best placed to give you some advice on how to get the best results with your sewing and to show you some really interesting techniques. Uh, so it would be great if you could join us for that if you're an avid dressmaker and I look forward to seeing you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides, suitable for all skill levels, to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hello, hello, welcome back. Right, we've had a bit of a rejig um, because we want to show you these off to the best potential. When you're looking at starting dressmaking, or I think a lot of, the reason a lot of us get into dressmaking is through frustration of clothes not fitting us right, or going to high streets and not quite getting what you want, or loving a certain fabric, um, or not finding something that fits us correctly. So depending on, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the first thing that you buy if you want to get into dressmaking will be a, a form or dressmaking mannequin or uh, just a form, but my word, it will make it extremely, extremely useful indeed. So um, when you are potentially first starting to thinking about lengthening or shortening or taking in or changing or making dresses for other people who are all different shapes and sizes obviously even when you start to look at dressmaking patterns and they say a size 10 or a size 14 or a size 16 uh, it can still fluctuate completely we are all completely different body shapes and it could be down to you know different heights of shoulders or you know one side slightly wider than the other you just it, it is everybody is different literally everybody is different so uh, a lot of people ask the question why do you need a dressmaking form or what you use one for this is a bit of a breakdown of what is brilliant about a just a form and why you would use one so use you would use a dress model to check the drape of fabric and check that it's suitable for the pattern you've selected it, those of you that watch the great british sewing bee you'll probably remember quite often they hadn't picked the right fabric for uh, the pattern and it can completely change the look of the garment so having that drape is a really big key point. Style an outfit by draping coordinating fabrics together, see how they look, say for a, ja a jacket or a blouse, and to be able to step back from it and look. If you're looking at it on a table, you can't always get perspective of how the colours and patterns work together. To fit tissue paper, another great way of using your dress model. Uh, to check placements of darts, pockets, buttonholes. Doing that on a flat table, obviously, We've got curves as a body, you, uh, you're working on curves. So to be able to check your placement of darts, checking your pockets are in the right place, checking buttonholes are there, brilliant. Establish the position of collar, collars and lapels, uh, position trims and lace, ribbon, applique onto garments and make sure you're happy with the placement of it. Check the plan, the placement for the machine embroidery designs, pin sleeves in position based on your shoulder, uh, based on your shoulder length, 
tack in place and then machine stitch so that you know that you're happy exactly where it is. You can you try it onto the, the dress form, try it onto the mannequin and make sure it is exactly how you want it before you sew it. It means you're not having to unpick everything all the time. Uh, check the placement of shoulder pads. Check the ease and hang of a lining because quite often you'll think, even if you try it on your own body, you look forward and it will be lower, if you know what I mean. Having it on just a mannequin that is there and still makes it a lot easier to check hanging at the bottom of skirts and hems and linings. Uh, fit the hang of wedding gowns as you sew, fit and hang wedding gowns as you sew, brilliant. To be able to do hand stitching whilst it's on, on the mannequin. To mark your hems, to fit trousers and pants now. Some of the, uh, we've got some really exciting news about the adjust forms that we've got today, especially for that part, fitting trousers. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a second. Some of the models are now available for fitting trousers and pants. The stand has been moved off centre uh, and the hip and torso area has been shaped to achieve, achieve a real professional fit. To accessorise your completed outfit, uh, it, it, absolutely, so you can just finish your outfit, put your necklaces on, see how it's all going to look and so on and so forth. So, I mean, there's so many reasons of why you might think about investing in a, a dressmaking form. So, before I want to talk any more, I want to show you the price of these because I think a lot of us presume it's going to be a real huge investment, whereas actually, especially ones that you can adjust, like the ones that we're going to be showing you today. So I've got two different models and we've got both of them in different sizes as well. We're going to start with Superfit. They're all the same price. So this is Superfit. This is Superfit Small. Now, they're all the same price, just to make it easy. But look... We're less than £160, which is brilliant because it's designed to last the test of time. It's not just designed for, for your body or for mine. It's one that you can adjust. So I would recommend going with the smaller size because you can always pad out, but obviously you can't take away. So um, we are stocking it in, this is the super fit and we're stocking it in super, in sorry, in small, medium, and fuller figure. So we've got all three different size. This one, we can show you again um, all of the different me measurements and you'll be able to see that in the description on the website. But here they are just as a quick breakdown. So there's the small. The small you can see uh, is the one that I've got here, which is the bust measurements from 33 to 41 inches. Your waist starts at 24 inches and can be adjusted up to 32 inches. Your hips, 34 to 42 inches, and the back length, so there's loads that you can adjust here, from 15 inches to 17 inches. If you want to go for the medium, it's from, the bust is 39 to 47 inches, the waist is 29 to 37 inches, the hips are 48 to 40, 40 to 48 inches, and the back length, 15 to 17 inches. The fuller figure there, you can see the full figure is uh, bust 45 to 43 inches, 38 to 46 on your waist, the hips 47 to 55 inches, and the back length is um, 16 to 18 inches. Now, also, the super fit, the great thing about this particular one that we're looking at to start with, it comes with eight body part, uh, it comes with eight of the little dials on which you can interchange, sorry, 12 adjustable wheels to change the different sizes. Uh, we do have it available in the um, in the range of different sizes. It has an adjust adjustable neck as well. And because of the fabric that it's made from, you can also pin into it, which makes it really useful. Foam back nylon covered allows you to pin and mark. Strong tripod, uh, it's got all those nice strong feet and it also stores away nice and easily. So the small is the one that we're focusing on, you'll see the graphic for now, but all of them are listed on the website. We will flick through them as we go along so you can see. We'll, we will flick through the graphics of the super fit. I had a message from Rachel. Hello, Rachel. I know that you do a lot of dressmaking and particularly wedding garments as well. She said, they are an absolutely must for sewing your own clothes. She says, I love mine. I have a plus size one for me and a small one for my customers. So, I mean, it is, it is great that the fact that you can, of course, if you are a wedding dress, uh, if you do make wedding dresses, of course, all of your brides, different shapes and sizes, you, and you want to adjust any fabrics or making, uh, if you are making dresses from scratch, then these are absolutely ideal. 
as you can see, I don't know whether you can say, but they've all got the numbers very, very clearly. As you're turning the dial, you can see it expanding. As one, sometimes you might have one side slightly larger than the other. So it's brilliant to be able to adjust at every point. There's your bust. You've also got the waist, your hip, all of these wheels, 12 different wheels that are all going to adjust and that comes with all of them and you can see very, very clearly at each inch to adjust it. So if I slowly spin her around, you can see, there you go, at each point at the waist. And don't get me wrong, we might not all have this sort of shape. You can then pad onto it as well. You can pin to it. We'd love to do a whole show getting somebody on to do a padding because the quality of these ones it, it means you can. Of course, the, uh, the fabric's on without um, damaging your dress form. So you can pin into this and mark it as you wish. Don't get me wrong, yes, you can get cheaper forms that might not have as many features or as many adjustable features, but they do also come with a two year guarantee. When we, when we were thinking about which ones we wanted to bring on board with us, um, of course, there are lots of different models that are out there in the market and adjuster form were fantastic because of the value for money, the quality of them. and. As I say, we're all working with different shaped bodies. We're all completely different. So I think it's it's really quite important to be able to have that adjustable uh, feature with them as well. So the one that you can see at the moment, the graphics are for your full figure, which all of the description, once again, is on the website as your second description. But just as a quick reminder, uh, if you want to jot it down, the full figure one is at the bottom of your screen. Whether you are a beginner or whether you have years of sewing experience, this is fantastic. You can also see, um, yeah, you can see all of the measurements there um, if you want to jot them down or have a look on the website. Now, Adjuster Form is, of course, a very, very famous brand that you all have probably seen in the press. Uh, this is Tilly and the Buttons, who you may know, of course, uh, you may have heard of, but there you go, in the press, in Sew Magazine, Adjuster Forms there. They are very, very famous, renowned brand of dress forms. And I think that's a big part when, uh, you know, we say this when we're looking at sewing machines as well. We say we want to make sure that you're getting that reputable brand. For marking your hems, hems these are, are, are fantastic as well. Right, so... Whilst we, uh, we swap over to the other form to show you, I'm just going to show you another slide. This is more about some of the larger questions, some of the bigger questions that uh, you know other people ask. So who needs a sewing form? If you're involved in dressmaking or altering alterations to garments, uh, you need a sewing form. Understanding the special requirements of sewers has been asked by the, uh, has, has helped the Adjuster Form Group produce a range of products designed to suit beginners and inexperienced dressmakers alike. Constant research enables us to offer products with features that you have requested. A dress, form, a, a dress form will make a garment making alterations easier, more satisfying and more rewarding than you ever thought possible. That's what's exciting, isn't it? I'm really excited for the opportunity of someone saying, where'd you get that from? I made it. Uh, it's, the, it's the only sure way of achieving a real professional look to garments, whether you're making clothes for yourself or for someone else. Made in England, they're made here in, in Kent, in fact, actually. They're, they're actually all assembled and packaged by hand by a long-serving loyal workforce. A majority um, of the, the component parts are sourced locally or manufactured by sub, uh, subcontractors, local subcontractors contractors so I love the fact that they're they're British they're here made in 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 the UK will a dress form make sewing easier a dress form especially one personalized to your body as these ones do in your body measurements help you check your garments fit including placements of darts necklines and buttonholes to allow you to accurately mark a hemline to see whether your garment fabrics is hanging on grain uh, to ensure that your seams are in the again hang straight 
Apart from these more obvious benefits, a dress form allows you to fit a paper pattern prior to cutting it from fabric. So I suppose that's going to save you on lots of fabric as well. It also allows you to view and fit the back of a garment near impossible to do on yourself. A dress form provides you with, uh, provides you with a canvas that you can pin contrasting or coordinating fabrics to give you the ability to drape fabric and create your own garment designs. As, as Rachel said, it is a must for anybody who is starting dressmaking or an experienced dressmaker. If you imagine it, if I'm trying to sort of adjust my dress that I'm wearing today, I would have to look forward and it's already altered. Unless you're sort of working in the mirror and even then it's really hard to do it on yourself, especially as it says there on the back. I know that there is a lot to take in. There is a lot of information and there's a lot to take in. But I suppose you at home, you'll know where you are on your dressmaking or your sewing journey. And I also think they look really attractive to be able to have in your workroom or to have even, even if, it, if you haven't got a designated sewing room, um, we've got them taller for our desk. Don't worry, you can adjust the, the height of these. What I like about this one is that you've got so many measurements all down the, the pole. You've also got um, the one that we have here in the studio, by the way, is a size B. So it's, I'll go through the sizes in just a second. They are on the descriptions on the website if you do want to, to have a look through. But also what I love about this one is you also have this little pump, which um, it looks exciting. You can put your chalk into there and slide it around to mark your hem. So there's loads of measurements all down the pole, as I said. So depending on how, you, how short or long you want your hem, you can mark it really clearly whilst your garment is perfectly draped. How exciting is that? Uh, and yes, you can adjust it. So you can do it on the tabletop or you can do it on the floor. You can adjust it so it's higher. So your posture's correct as well. No more sort of bending down and, and worrying about that. Throughout, the same as the, the, the Superfit, you're getting 12 different dials which can adjust sizes. You've also got your neck adjuster. You've got the beautiful fabric, which as you can see, you can pin straight into. If you do want to, to pin any of your fabrics onto, just check the drape and check that the grain's running straight. Uh, then it is beautiful quality. This again comes with two year guarantee. First time that we bought these in, uh, probably about a month ago now, they all sold out. Every single one was so, so popular. We've had to wait to be able to get them back in. Uh, so once again, the sizes on this one, this one is a size B, but we can have a look through the different sizes for this uh, second adjuster form. So this is the one that also has, you can see a diagram there and I can try and just wiggle it around whilst you're here, but there's a, a second pole. There is a second hole for your pole to go into basically. So it will easy, easily, she says, just lift off and slot into the next hole like so. So it is just slightly off center, which means that you can easily do uh, trouser legs and all sorts. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's have a read through. So A, the smaller size, remember, go with the smallest that you sort of fit into, because you can always pad out, you can't take away. It's a good uh, tip that somebody told me years ago, and I thought, oh, that's a good point actually. Um, so your bust measurement is 33 to 41 inches, your waist is 26 to 33 and a half inches, your hip is 36 to 44, and your back length is 14.5 to 16.5 inches, all adjustable between them. Your B, which is the one that I've got here in the studio, bust is 39 to 47 inches, uh, waist is 32 to 40 inches, hips is 41 to 49 back length is 15 to 70, 17 inches, and then the C option is 38 to 46 inches, Waist is 38 to 46, hips 47 to 54 inches, and your back length is 16 to 18 inches. So this is your so deluxe, which is your leg form, your leg form part eight. So it splits the weight, uh, waist to uh, uh, enable lengthening. Those of you that have got a shorter waist or a longer waist, you're gonna be able to adjust your, your, your designs and your patterns accordingly. Uh, an easy dial for the neck adjuster. You've got shaped hips, bottom and thigh for trouser pants. How amazing is that? Comprehensive uh, calibration tapes. You've got so much going on with this one. This is your so deluxe leg form. 
I did just put it off center as you were uh, reading through that so you can see what I mean and how the leg form works. There's a little photograph at the bottom, but you can see maybe a bit clearer now in the flesh. Mm, no. There you go. So if you do take up trousers, then how much easier is this going to make your life? If you take trousers up or if you make trousers, or any garments, you know, shorts or anything like that for gents as well, this is going to be fantastic. It's £159.99 and this is A, size A, just so you know. This is a size B in front of me, the graphics is size A. Fantastic, which will be the smaller one. Um, they're all the same price point. They all come with a two year warranty. And if you do want to have a read up again of any of the measurements, it is on the description on our website. I'm gonna put the graphic slides for number four C, which is the larger size. Uh, it's slightly larger than the one that you can see here. All of the measurements again are in the description on the website. So you can see them all. If you are making twirls, um, the calico, we talk a lot about calico. I know we've spoken about this for different reasons today, actually. We've spoken about this with quilters. Dressmakers, obviously, when you are making up a garment, quite a lot of people make up a toile just to have a bit of a practice to check that you've got everything all ready before you do it on your beautiful fabrics. It's only £2.49 and a half metre, and a half metre you get a lot of fabric. You do get a lot of fabric. It's very soft indeed, this one, because it's pre-shrunk. So even though it says quilted in the graphics, it's absolutely fine to use for your dressmaking, absolutely. Uh, you get a lot for 2 49 You do get a lot for £2.49. Half a metre, less than 2 50 And I must say as well, it's such beautiful quality. It's very, very soft. I know that you can get a lot of different types of calico, but to be able to have this soft, beautiful fabric, I think is gonna be really, really useful for your stash. It's been very, very popular today. Super duper popular today. Just to put into perspective how popular this has been today, um, nearly a thousand units of this. Nearly a thousand units, that's nearly 500 meters of this has gone. I think a lot of people multi buy. I'm not surprised. Sorry, sorry to our warehouse team. They are fantastic and they will, um, yeah, I'm sure thoroughly enjoy getting this out to you. Um, it goes on. Yeah, it goes on for a few screens, but Hannah said, I'm looking at the screen and the majority of people are multi-buying. I'm not surprised. If you're paying 3 49 already for your PMP, come in for a few meters of this. Oh, you want some garden cushions with it? Do you know, it's so nice and you can chuck this in the wash. You don't need to worry too much. It will look lovely with any of your um, new fabrics or any of the fabrics that we've ha had actually, because you can dye this as well. You could dye it, couldn't you? You could do a lovely bright color. It's gorgeous as it is. It is gorgeous as it is, but um, yeah, absolutely perfect at 249 and a half meter. Shall we stick with dressmaking and talk about the clapper? So this is something that you may have heard of. You may have seen. I should have an iron mm, mat behind me. So, when we're talking about pressing, in quilting, absolutely integral, in bag making, really important, in all sewing, in fact, we talk about pressing. In dressmaking, it is a real integral part to be able to get those crisp seams. If you're doing things like pleats, if you're doing lovely hems, if you want to make sure that you've got a crisp seam, then this is a fantastic device. Now, it's basically a big piece of beech wood and it needs to be a special sort of beech wood that basically traps the steam in and encases that steam in. So, let's, um, shall I do it on the calico? Let's just show you, I've put the iron on, but if I just fold, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this because we've moved the table. I'll try, I'll try and put it farther up. So I'm just gonna iron this crease here. So let's just give that a nice good press. Let's get the steam on. Where's the steam? Turn it all the way around. There's no point using it without the steam. You wanna make sure you've got plenty of steam. The steam is what the wood will absorb, basically. So, once you've given this, you need to give it a really good, crisp, nice steam. And then, straight away, straight after,
You are completely... Sorry, I need to get this iron clean, don't I? So, just by using your beech wood next to it, it will give you such a lovely, crisp... Look at that. That is so satisfying, isn't it? It will give you a really great, crisp seam. Um, it... It is something that you normally see with quite traditional dressmaking, actually, isn't it? I see this a lot with um, when you go to a, a fancy tailor on Savile Row, you'll probably spot one of these. It is something that I know a lot of people who have, dress, have been dressmaking for years and years and years, they will always talk about the clapper. And it has to be a, a specific type of wood. This is a beech wood. It's from Millwood. It's really beautiful quality. It'd be a great gift for somebody who's getting into dressmaking because it's it's really traditional. It looks lovely. It looks very um, as I say, it looks it looks very professional indeed. And it will also give you those crisp edges. If you are doing pleats and things, it's gonna hold those pleats all nicely in place. £19.99, great quality. And as I say, just use plenty of steam. Make sure you're giving it a really good steam. And then as, I think I need to, I've got enough water in here now, but if once you've given it a really good steam, sorry, we tried to limit it so we don't, um, so we don't lose all of the, the, the water under the desk, but then press it in. No, I was just looking to see what it has done if it's if it's unplugged itself. What's it doing? I'm wondering why my steam had stopped. There we go. So then give it all a good good whack. And then you're gonna get such beautiful, beautiful crisp creases. Just £19.99, as I said, this would make a great gift for somebody, wouldn't it? Really great gift. It's back in stock. I can't remember the last time I saw it. It's been ages and ages and ages since we've had it in. So, have a think about that. I'm just going to unplug my iron before I forget. Right. I know, Jules reminded me of that. She was like, oh, no, I don't want to leave it on too long. I'll plug it in during. And I'm thinking, no, you're all right. It's all right for just the hour. So, um, yeah. Taking a leaf out of her book and turning it off because I'll forget. Right, we've also got... These are the first time I've seen these. These are new to me. So we've got the refills as well. Your marking tool. If you are, you know, if you are marking any of your um, darts, any of your notches, if you're you're marking your hem, if you do want to do any marking on dressmaking, quite often we traditionally use Taylor's chalk. What I love about this is it's chalk. It's not messy. It's not going to be messy. So you get the little pen. You get a sharpener as well, so you can sharpen it on the go. It comes in a nice little case. You get plenty of refills, loads of white, and also loads of colours. It's fantastic value, isn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. So you can literally you give it a, a, a bit of a, a pull to release it. So that's how you change which chalk you want. Press it down. It'll hold in place. You can sharpen it. It's probably not the best colour to show you on, but no, you're not going to be able to see it. Shall I put one of the, shall I change the colour? That's what happens, isn't it? In the, in the real world. This isn't real world, Hannah. This is the Truman Show. Don't. Honestly, I watched it and it's really scared me now. Push that in like that. And then look at how lovely and clear that is. And it's such, that I find sometimes if you're using a chalk and you need to be quite precise with how, thick your chalk is being, it, it, it is, this, you have so much more control. One, it's not going to go everywhere in my bag, but also you've got so much control over that finer point, over that fine nib. Sorry, I'm not very good at drawing straight lines, but you see what I mean. And then the reverse of it is also an eraser. So really nice and easily, you can just brush that away. It is only chalk, so it will completely disappear. Especially when you wash it, you'll lose all of those, all of those markings. That's a really nice little handy kit to have, isn't it? It's the first time I've seen these. I know we have had them on air before, um, uh, but it's the first time I've managed to see it. It's the first time I've seen them. £14.99 and you do get lots of refills already included. You do get, I think, is there 17 different cartridges in there? 
that will just rub all away. I've done too many lines. As I say, if you do just chuck it in the wash, then that will all completely disappear. We do have some of the refills, if you haven't already got those. So you get, how many in the real, in the, you get 16 of your cartridges included in the pack. But then in the refill pack, you get another 16. This time you don't get the pen. The refill pack, you get the cartridges without the pen and the pencil sharpener. The reason I say that is because on tele, that pen looks very real. There's a photograph, but it's obviously, um, it's obviously <laughs> used, I've got to tilt it, sorry. Um, the, it's obviously used um, with the, in conjunction with the pen that you've just seen. It's only £6.99, so if you want to get yourself some refills, or if you are thinking of, so no pen. <laughs> £6.99, you've got plenty of whites and also your colours, so if you're working on your calico, if you're working on lighter fabrics, um, they're going to be really handy to be able to, to show up, no matter what fabrics you're on. So, something that you've seen a lot today, do you know what I like about these, is that they've got the glass head, um, quite often, have you ever burnt your plastic heads on your fabric? It's happened to us all, hasn't it, it's happened to us all, maybe if you've got your pin cushion today, did you get your little um, early bird? If you got the early bird, then why not get some pins as well? Just to go with, it's only £3.95 uh, postage and packaging. So if you've bought an early bird or if you've bought some calico, you want to do a little goodie bag, this is only £3.99 and you're getting a hundred of them. And let me just check, I think it's the same as these. They're extra long, they're really, really lovely and long. So if you are uh, doing lots of pinning, this is going to save you having to pin as much. Great thing about the mean glass headed is if you are using them near your iron, they're not going to melt. Not going to melt on your lovely fabrics. Just £3.99 and you get a hundred of them. I'm not sure of the actual length. I think they're 45 millimetres. So they're really nice extra long ones and ever so sharp indeed. So they are your extra long glass head pins. If you do want the little pin cushion to go with, we'll remind you of today's early bird special as well. I think it's essentials like this. We don't always show on air, but we always talk about pinning, don't we? To pin or not to pin, that is the, the question. I didn't realise how many different types of pins you can get, but also when you get into it, you think, do you know what? It actually really makes a difference having the right size pin for the right size project and also having the difference between if you're buying more affordable pins and you think, do you know what, they've just melted all over my gorgeous fabric. It makes such a difference investing in those lovely quality things. So definitely recommend those pins. Pin cushion is gorgeous. So this is your lovely early bird special today. We've got a saving of four pounds. It's just eight pound 99. And it's just adorable. I like that it's got quite hard hard bottom so it's going to sit nicely on your uh on your surface sometimes when you have got more of a soft bottom it'll be wobbling all over the place you do want a nice size pin cushion have you outgrown your pin cushion maybe <laughs> have you got a smaller one these are ideal because you could put all sorts of pins in here the bottom's a cushion as well and i just love the detail look with the little wooden handle i always talk about pressing we always talk about you know um how important it is especially with dressmaking as well so that's lovely you've got all your little notions little, little uh, threads and buttons and spools you've got tape measure safety pins great gift idea and it comes in a nice little box so easy to wrap if you are thinking of a gift for somebody but all about that saving it's only for today or whilst stocks last eight pounds 99 for your novelty little lion pin cushion it's so cute so so cute Right. Um, threads are an absolute essential, aren't they? When you're thinking about whether it be bag making, dress making, quilting, uh, whatever skill you're using in your sewing, we're always going to need some nice quality threads. So here we've got Guterman with four of your black, 
three, sorry, four of your white and three of your black for £11.99. A nice little essential pack. Great to be able to, to use for whether it be, well, they're your 50 weight, so all everyday threads. So whether you're using them in your sewing machine or in your bobbin, nice to be able to just wind up loads of bobbins ready to go if you are... Um, finishing lots of projects maybe that you've started over lockdown or you started years ago and you're finishing during lockdown a perfect chance to just stock up on those essentials you get a hundred meters on each spool hundred meters on each spool all seven of them for 11 pounds 99 you've got blacks and whites we've also got the summer the summer value pack of Guterman threads, but the price, the value for money is brilliant. Do you know what the price per spool is on this one? Eleven ninety nine over seven spools. It's a great value pack. I tell you what, it's better than better value than buying them singly. It's something we're always going to use, isn't it? You've got seven. Seven of them. You've got four in the white and then three in black. They're £1.71 each. Brilliant. Normally you're looking about £2 a spool, aren't you? So £1.70 is fantastic. Great price. Okay. Just a bit of a stock update on this one. This is the one with the leg. The one with the leg. Um, so this is option B that you can see. There's three different sizes available, A, B and C. Uh, all of the sizes available on the description. B is the one that I've got here. There's only two remaining currently. If you do do a lot of maybe gents adjustments or trouser adjustments, if you do um, shorts as well, then these are ideal because you have got jumpsuits. I know a lot of, uh, of us struggle with jumpsuits because of the length of the leg and the waist, it's quite difficult to, to do, isn't it? Whereas with this, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Maybe you've got gathering where you don't want gathering. So if you are making um, jumpsuits, then these are gonna be a real help because you've got that off center pole. You can put it as central. There's two holes underneath that you can either put a central or, or offset. So you are, if you are adjusting, these are gonna be brilliant. We sell linen at a really great price point. I tell you what, linen trousers are very, very expensive, aren't they? Good quality linen trousers can set you back. So why not make your own? The great thing about the adjuster form, if you haven't already looked into it, I really recommend having a look on their website. There's so much information on there. Or if you've got any questions for us, if you have any questions, of course, get them in. If we can answer them on air today, I absolutely will. If I can't, I will find out the answer for you and get back to you. But if you do want any questions, it's sewing, uh, it's studio at sewingstreets.com, studio at sewingstreet.com for any emails. This is A, which is the smaller size to this one. All of the measurements and how they adjust to are the description on the website. We've also got C, which is the larger size. I always say go for the smaller end of the scale of you. If you're between two sizes, Go for the smaller is my uh, my recommendation. As you can always pad out, you can't take in. Can't take in. So they're ideal. This is then size C. Oh, there you go. Size C. Um, you can see the box at the bottom there, 38, 46, 40, uh, 38 to 46 on uh, waist, 47 to 54 on hips, and 16 to 18 inches on back length. All of your sizes, remember, in the description on the website. But if you do have any other questions for us, please do let us know. And we will make sure that we can try and answer those questions for you. Um, they are, I understand, a bit of an investment. But uh, we have so many messages coming in saying, I couldn't be without it. I could not do the job that I do. And whether it is a profession or starting a, um, you know, your own little business or whether it be just for doing adjustments for your clothes. Kat was only saying today that she's um, been adjusting some, did you adjust a dress? Just turned up a dress. I mean, it's just gonna make life so much easier. If you're starting with adjusting just lengths of dresses and then you're thinking, oh, do what I could just do with taking in here or adjusting on there or adjusting shoulders. This is gonna help you in so many ways. And it's the only sort of way of getting that real professional finish is by having um, a, a form. So if you do wanna get in touch with us, studio at sewingstreet.com is the email address. If you've got any questions whatsoever about either form, message in. 
So we looked at the, the value pack of the essential Gutemans. We've now got the summer value pack. Now this is brilliant value for money because you also get the tape measure as well. So you've got black and white, green and blue, purple and yellow. You've got orange and red. You've got your lovely pinks as well. Oh, sorry, this isn't called summer. I called it summer because it's very bright and bold, isn't it? There was, called, there was one called summer. So I'm confusing everybody. This is the one with the measuring tape. Sorry, um, I, it's nothing to do with the summer. Just want to clear that up. Seventeen ninety nine. I just saw these colours and thought, oh, these are lovely in summery. Seventeen ninety nine with your measuring tape as well. Really handy to have. Another essential, really, isn't it? Your threads and not like a little novelty gift with it. A tape measure. We can never be without. You know, you can always, you can never have too many tape measures. They always go walkies, don't they? Less than two pound a spool and a measuring tape for $17.99. I love these colours. All 100 metres on each, polyester, 50 weight threads. Lovely colours, really, really lovely colours. Oh, did you have the wrong graphics in, Kat? We don't know. I think it's because I said the word summer. There must be a storm coming. Must be a storm coming, Kat. This code is YIZ, YIZ. W76, it was the right one, sorry. If you're looking for um, the black and white um, threads, we might not have had this in, we've just got it in. They're just £12.99. So either brilliant value for money, and as I said, great value for money for individual you haven't got long cat for individual. If you were to purchase them individually, um, it's much better value to be able to get them in these multi packs. And they're all they're colours that we're always going to need and use. So I've got two pairs of Janome scissors. Uh, let's start with the soft ones. These are your soft and side bent. So they've got a nice little soft handle. And can you see the means? There's no. No. <laughs> these are your side bent scissors and can you see that when you are cutting you're going to be able to keep them flush to the table and cut really nice and straight obviously it, it sounds obvious but how many times do you see people cutting like this you see people cutting up here like that whereas actually of course if you think we need to cut along the table, keep it nice and flat to the table. So that's going to really help that. They're beautiful quality from Janome. They are your knife edge. I think they're nine inch shears, which are beautiful, beautiful scissors for £24.99. pence. Your professional soft and sharp side bent dressmaking shears. Just it is, um, th these ones aren't serrated, did you say? No, these ones aren't. They're not serrated, so you'll be able to sharpen these in your normal scissor sharpener that you've got. But it, it is true, the amount of times that I, you know, when I started, I was trying to cut up here. And I remember at the classes, they would say, why are you cutting up here? You need to cut flat to the desk. So having these side bent, I think will really, really help you. Just cutting nice and straight along. Now, these ones are not serrated. If you're working with slippy fabrics, if you're working with more difficult fabrics or jersey, if you do want a nice pair of serrated scissors, so serrated means they've got um, a serrated edge. They've got little, almost like little grooves you can't see from there, but you will see when you get it home, they've got little um, edges, like a, a, like a teeth sort of edge. Mm, it's just on this edge here, you'll see when you get it home, there's little grooves, which means that your fabric are also going to, to work better with any slippy fabrics. What? They're normally more expensive. We're having a problem with our graphics today. Buy these while they're 9 99 but I can't imagine. I think Kat, um, Kat's struggling today. 9 99 And they're side bent as well. This is the first time that I've seen any of the side bent serrated scissors. They're fantastic. Nine inch scissors for £9.99. These are your right handed scissors. We do have left handed scissors available on the website. Um, so 
absolutely make the most of these though. They're beautiful dressmaking shears. When you are starting out dressmaking, I was saying earlier on, look, it might not be your first purchase that you buy uh, an adjustable for mannequin, but scissors is absolutely essential. When you are cutting those first cuts through those beautiful fabrics that you've purchased, you wanna make sure you get a crisp cut and not slashing your fabric. Um, and at a price like this, you would presume that this were a lower quality, you know, everyday scissor. But no, this is serrated, Janome brand, beautiful quality, ever so comfortable as well. I don't use them all the time, but when you do work with those more difficult fabrics, the, the, the serrated will really, really help. You will notice the difference, that it's just going to grip hold of it slightly different. It's not going to put any sort of teeth edge. You won't notice it with the, with the, the cut. It won't, like, pink the edge or anything, but it's just going to give you lovely grip when you're, when you're cutting. Just £9.99 for those. Fantastic. Can we do my little tool? Can I open it? Because we can't find our open one. We had one here because I remember having a real good look at this. This is a real, a really uh, ideal sort of party trick. <laughs> You'll see in a minute if I'm allowed to open it, if Kat lets me. Let me show you. I'm just gonna open this one second, bear with me. Da -da 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 -da. Right, hang on. I am the worst person to open packaging. It's literally going to take me 13 minutes. <laughs> ah, it's like Christmas, isn't it? Right, so the reason I love this, those of you that know those little um, gadgets that you can get like your little pen knives and things like that in, I know our Joe Wilcox has got one. Whenever we need a handy box, he's like here with his gadget there to, um, to be able to open boxes for us. We're not talking about Joe's gadget on air, please. So, we've got a tape measure. There's number one. <laughs> if we need help, Joe's there. Is it retractable though? This is fantastic. So it's a retractable tape measure. Always handy, as I said. You always sort of lose them, don't you? So that's really nice and handy to have. You also then have here, ooh, 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 seam ripper. You got your seam ripper? You got a pair of little snips. So you got a little pair of scissors. Those are cute, aren't they? Little pair of scissors. You got a tracing wheel for your patterns. It's not sharp, but a little tracing wheel. And then you've also got oh, your little magnifying glass. It's just so cute, isn't it? If you're doing anything, you just need to see nice up close and personal. You've got... <laughs> Then you get your magnified glass out, £10.99. I love the little snips. They're just so ideal to have on the move. I'm thinking, you know, if you are going to a workshop or if you're going to, um, you know, a friend's house or if you're taking a project out, outside, sit in the garden, and you don't want to take all of your bits and bobs, you've got your tracing wheel, pair of scissors, magnifying glass and a retractable tape measure, all for just £10.99. And it's a lovely colour, isn't it? What do you think? It's so beautiful and that just packs down all nicely into there. You could put it onto, um, onto a key ring or something, couldn't you? Keep it in your bag. It is like a borrower's whistle, isn't it? It is like a huge whistle. Um, just £10.99. Do you know sometimes if you do just need a tape measure when you're on the move, that's so handy to have. If you just need to snip any of your, your labels off clothes or things like that, isn't necessarily just for dressmakers. I think that's really cool. It's got a little unpicker as well. I'm always searching for the unpicker. Didn't I say to you that I had to text Kat last week and say, Kat, where's the seam ripper? I was doing some sewing here after the show. I was like, oh, I've lost it. And he says, I'm not going to lie, I've had too many drinks, can't remember where it is. Standard Monday night for cats. Just £10.99. <laughs> right, for my new little gadget, I love those. I've well and truly opened that now. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. We're not going to be able to, um, we are going to have to keep hold of that. Right, so... Fabrics were very, very popular today. We launched a brand new range, which I've got four just to highlight. So, stripey one first. This is from Washington Street Studios. 
The code on this one, Cat, for your reference, is QRYV42. Just because she's having a trouble with her codes today. Right, so, you lovely stripe. I absolutely love this fabric. It's so beautiful, isn't it? The, the golds and the creams and the pinks together just work so, 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 so well. QRYV42. Thank you. Who have you got on with you tomorrow, girls? <laughs> oh, oh, good, good, good. 749 and a half metre, these are brand new. They were just saying that they're not here. Oh, it's all right. It's lovely, isn't it? It is so beautiful. It's from um, the latest, well, it's, it only launched today, the Wild Flower Woods. Um, beautiful quality it's from washington street studios which is very very difficult to get here in the uk very very difficult to get here in the uk um have a look elsewhere you can get it in a few places but you have to pay of course your import um costs and um postage and packaging high postage packaging here it's just three pound 95 all day long uh 7.49 and you can now buy as much as you want we've got this in a couple of other colors we've got it in a pink and we've also got it with a black background if you want to have a bit of a search on the website there might even be a mega bundle left when i say a mega bundle left i literally mean that a mega bundle left we've also got um no john's here on saturday We've got three, three different colorways. Oh, this one has been super duper popular. Let's do the pink first. The pink one especially is extremely, extremely limited. The print is beautiful. And I love that color. It's like a, quite a corally pink actually. Um, the code is INYV95. Even if you just get your calico, remember this is Quilter's um, pre-shrunk calico. If you're just getting calico to go with this or even just, you know, a half a metre of cream, it's going to be so beautiful. So beautiful. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. We've also got um, the black, which is NDYV85. And this has got that cream background again. It just makes it really, I thought before today, don't worry, it's not green. It is, um, it is cream with black. And I always thought when you add black into um, the quilt, it makes it really contemporary. It makes it really modern. You see some quite stark, dramatic change. Whereas this... It's still very traditional, very classic, very striking, and look beautiful, mixing it in with some more creams, and oh, I love that. With some reds or pinks. Just shows you how well it goes with even your mockers and burgundies. Seven pounds 49 and a half meter, that's your wildflower woods. Not in green, in cream and black, 749. We've also got it in one other colorway to show you. What's that? Are you slamming doors up there, Hannah? <laughs> oh, this one's lovely as well. I'm not sure what this one's called. That's my job to tell you. Um, J Z Y V fifty, please. Uh, remember, 100% cotton quilting weight, but we started the show earlier on by saying, look, think about this with like your style bill or with different interfacings for bag making or for you can make some lovely storage tubs. You could use this even for dressmaking. Be aware, obviously, it is a cotton, quite a heavier weight cotton, but it would make some lovely structured blouses and, and shirts. 7.49.5 metre, this is your wildflower woods in beige for just 7.49. We've had such a lovely day today. It's been so nice to uh, to meet Jules as well. She's great, isn't she? So this is her second time on the show. 
She was so relaxed and really, really clear and thorough, wasn't she? We loved her demo today. Um, have a look on the website for all of the other collection. If you loved these four prints or three prints, then you'll love the rest of it. It's, there's some beautiful fabrics and there's 24 different fabrics by the half meter. So it's definitely worth having a look. Tomorrow, the sun is coming out tomorrow. It's gonna be hot, isn't it? It's gonna be hot the rest of the week, yeah. Um, Hello, Faye. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying hello to Faye. I wonder if you're watching. <laughs> I don't know why I said hello to Faye like that then. I just had a bit of a, a moment then, sorry. Uh, there's so different geo dress with Faye. If you haven't met Faye, she's lovely. I was just saying, hello, Faye. At nine o'clock, we've got creative grid rollers and tools coming up with John. You've got John Cole Morgan and lovely Faye tomorrow. Hello, Faye. At 10 o'clock, we've got so different cocoons. Uh, jacket with Faye again. She's a fantastic dressmaker, I must say. Uh, she works on lots of film sets and theatre productions. So you'll get some great couture tips from her. Uh, 11 o'clock, you've got your fabric stash builders. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And um, John's fantastic with the creative grid rulers as well. So it's definitely worth getting some brilliant tips with her. At 12 o'clock, we are going to repeating one of Jules' shows. So if you missed it earlier on, uh, then you'll get chance to, to re-watch that. Now, yesterday I had lovely Cara with me and we made, what was it that's going to be de uh, demoed in the next hour? One of her demos is going to be repeated with Cara, which was the first one. It was the, oh, it was the Quilt As You Go again. So if you loved Jules's demonstration on Quilt As You Go and you want something else, there's even more Quilt As You Go. And she does a great demo on the binding as well. I know we didn't quite get a chance to finish that with Jules. So stay uh, around, stick around, and you'll be able to watch Cara's show. Thank you for your company today. Thank you for the, your company over the last couple of days. It's been brilliant to be back with you. I'll see you um, not until next week now. I think I'm back in on Tuesday, so I'll see you then. Thanks for your company. Stay tuned because I will be back up next with Cara.